Are we just going straight in with music? Yeah, straight in with music. <laughs> okay. Let's get into it. All right. Well. 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 Who have we got here? <laughs> I'm not uh, nervous at all. Just a note before we do start, if you speak, you have to speak quite into the microphone. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a little bit inconvenient. We need to get proper mic stands. Yeah, we just oh, they, up. they don't move, unfortunately. So <laughs> You just have to small, sit. So I'm like... Oh. Yeah, yeah, you just get to sit unnaturally <laughs> close into it. Um, well, well, well. Sebastian Fucon, welcome to the Motors Broadcast. Yeah. Thank you to have, for having me. Guys. That is, I, I mean, I don't even know where to start, really. I mean, 19, just over 19 years ago, you took part in a, in a documentary that basically has then altered the course of my life and then pretty much everyone else's. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most people listening to this and it's, it's kind of bizarre. So yeah, it is really it's, bizarre. It's, it's so, super bizarre because it's mm. like if that... It, if that documentary hadn't happened, I don't know where my life would have gone. I Who don't know. Knows? Neither. Yeah. Yeah. But all of us, I guess, even you, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, crazy well, things. Yeah. That's part of life. Like we all influence each other, you know, like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, firstly, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. You're good. You just came back from Gibraltar? Yes. Yeah. With the monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Amazing. They have monkeys in Gibraltar. So why I was is just, it in an English thing then? I don't, I don't know, mm. but you go up this big rock and there's just wild monkeys and they yeah. jump all over wow. you. That's crazy. Yeah. I asked the question like, why, why there is monkeys there? So they don't even know. I think apparently uh, because they've got tunnels, I think they don't know if they come from the tunnels or if they come from the, from the, um, cheap. Wow. Oh, really? I don't even know how they end up here. Yeah, yeah. They steal, if you're wearing like a backpack and things, they'll just rip it off of you. Yeah, and like, I've seen videos of it. I yeah, didn't know yeah, how, yeah. Like, They took out my really passport. Is. They un they undid it. Smart, that's why. Yeah, and they grabbed my passport and I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then they dropped it and went for some food. It yeah, like, yeah. Oh. Um, no. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, firstly, thank you for coming on. It, it, I reached out to you like a week or two ago because you put online um, your... You, you basically did a, an amazing recap on oh, thank you. Instagram of mm. kind of your your history, your truth, and mm. you. it seemed like you kind of wanted to set the record straight uh, with some sort of misconceptions and yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. And I think really like, I guess like, do you just want to run, almost kind of recap that again? And, and like, I'm we've, we've made some notes and we've watched it and it's like, cause I, I've done parkour since Jump London and I've like, yeah. I know a decent amount of the history, but I'm not, I'm not like, you know, a, a professor mm -hmm. of parkour. I don't know. I know even less. Yeah. But I was learning so much watching it as well. Yeah. So I've only yeah. been in it since 2010. And so. I, I actually spoke to uh, Max Henry last night mm -hmm. because yeah. I was like, Max, <laughs> I shouldn't do this. Like someone else should do this interview technically. But, and so Max gave me some like some questions and things. That's cool. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. I think the thing that amazed me the most is in that video, you said you, you've kept a journal since 1997. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, yeah. amazing. I, do you journal? Yeah, but not in that way. That's what I found quite impressive. Did you yeah. know why you were doing that? Was it just because- I always did it because uh, also for my training. So I like to record everything I'm doing. Mm. Probably I kept it from uh, my mentor, Bruce Lee. Yeah, because yeah. Because he wrote everything, you know, like, uh, because I always, I'm in a journey, like Bruce Lee say, uh, to find the cause of your ignorance. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's that's why my, my journey. So I'm inspired. You're always inspired by someone. You never come up with, oh, I got all the ideas. Yeah. And uh, in one of his books, he said, you need to write it down. But it's, you see, it's been a long time ago. Mm. And I always write it down, everything I'm doing, uh, like, in details, like even the mood of today, you know, like how I've wow. got arrows, you know, like. Uh, ah, okay. So yeah, I can yeah, trace yeah. back, you know, like when you get injury, you can, you can literally trace when you recover because we're all different yeah. mm. and your body has a certain rhythm. But the more you do that, uh, you can trace back and you can see when you recover approximately and they can see there is redundance. So you say, ah, that's where okay, I get hurt. I twist my ankle. If I do that, 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 that by okay. uh, probably three weeks later, yeah, that's where I'm going to come back. And sometimes if you do a fantastic performance, like, uh, because I used to do athletics also. So when you do a performance, like you break your record, you say, what happened? You, you can mm -hmm. trace back the course of event, not only physically in training, but also emotionally, what happened to make you to reach the peak. Mm. And, uh, and that's, well, I won't be yeah, able to yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I, I believe, that's how I started to write it down, everything. Um, yeah, that's it. Because yeah. you, know, you started noticing patterns and things and yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. So did, how much detail did you go into? Was it not just training? Was it ever like, down to like 
how your day was just in general yeah yeah like, like normal journalism for example too. like today i would say like we i came here and we were what we did we record and so do you, you, you do, do it at the end of the day hmm? you do it at the end of the day anytime but i don't know if you see my bag uh, i'm i'm all because i'm an artist so i'm drawing yeah and yeah. Uh, that's my tool in school in school i was oh these guys is bad because it, it doesn't listen you know there is different type of intelligence yeah you know? yeah mm-hmm. and in school i've been labeled like it, it will do nothing yeah because but you're I, the creative like yeah, yeah. I, I was literally mm. give me a pen and i was like even like we talk i'm going to be drawing stuff like yeah. you know doodle you yeah, doodle. yeah 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 so and that's my that was my way of communicating but in uh, in school it's not it's not something you know no it's, yeah it's yeah nothing. because school they have to mark you against like it, it's do, do you tick this box yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and if you don't tick the box it's like well you're broken yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah. for me that's my that's my thing i always have my ipad my stuff and i always, I always yeah. draw I'm, I'm creative so in my head i'm very creative yeah mm-hmm. so go back to what was the question where were we i guess we were just talking about journaling because mm-hmm. i yeah, yeah. I, I do it every morning but like it's more of a before my brain gets too busy with like stress i try and just get like my mood and mm. plan my day ahead kind of thing but mm. it's interesting to see that you I guess you you've systemized it so you have like arrows for oh, things. Yeah, because my yeah. mind sometimes is like three yeah, lines, or sometimes it's it's huge. Kind so. of, yeah, yeah. But as you can imagine, like nineteen nineteen seven, just as an example, it's been so you refine your your thing. So for me now, it's very it's it's, it's more more refined. Mm-hmm. But it's interesting when you like I think it's Steve Jobs say that you can't only connect the dot looking backwards. You can yeah, okay, you all this stuff, and for me it's like. Now I can see even stuff I was written like um, I don't know if you know about um, I forgot the name. you know like when you write about your goals when you want to achieve and stuff like that yeah I always did that yeah yeah you set your targets the agenda yeah. everything is written and mm-hmm. I say oh oh I did this like sometimes I'm surprised oh my god I keep saying this for so long yeah say, oh now we achieve I achieve my goals but it took me like many many always years. longer than you expect mm. yeah, 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 yeah 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 so yeah i wrote i always at the end i wrote at the beginning i wrote what i want to achieve at the end i wrote what i uh, still want to achieve and also i make a kind of a summary of uh, what happened what was the course of event and stuff like that. yeah wow. what's what's super interesting i think is that a lot of these like i mean so you say that kind of came from bruce lee and like a lot of these practices nowadays are very very popular mm-hmm. and there's like journals there's like there's so many companies making like journals for morning, evening, blah, 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 yeah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. But you've obviously like, and I think it just comes from that kind of like spirituality and the, the martial art background. It's, it's existed for decades, but yeah. it's only now in the last sort of few years seems for to get sure. really like mainstream. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but so to go back to your, like the, the, the history, why, why now did you suddenly decide like, I want to tell my story? Uh, I would say it's been in my head for a long time. Uh, I think we, our paths cross. Uh, it was uh, near um, Padraig. I don't know if you remember. In where? In Padraig, uh, near uh, Padraig is Kilburn Park, I think something like. You know, Park UK head of Yes, yeah, 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 with Eugene. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I Can was. I just, I'm just going to tell that. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was still a sister. <laughs> <laughs> I was still a bit. Um, emotional into bracket i'm always i'm not a person who's very like uh against people but when people do something to me i notice it and i've noticed everything mm-hmm. the good as the bad yeah i always try to find my way not to uh, i'm i don't care about what people are doing but i'm observing the behavior the respect and so that because i come from a martial art point of view for me it's very important the lineage and where where you where you learn it from the wisdom and all this stuff yeah but i'm not here to teach everyone it's not it's not my goal. It's just like mm-hmm. I observe, and I know along the course of like there is a lot of stuff. Um, I I observe behaviors, mm-hmm. and uh, but I never knew I was I wasn't mature enough mm. to 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 say it the way I want to say it. Yeah, yeah. It's only you know sometimes you just wake up you just have a click and mm-hmm. I had a click moment. Mm-hmm. The solution just came. Yeah, I was like, oh no no. No, no, no. I know, I know the the real. Uh, you know, uh, John uh, Edge. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Hedge. I think is the one who, who gave me the key. Was was missing. Oh, uh, really? Because uh, not so long ago, uh, because I think we went to Germany for for a workshop, and he said to me like something along like you need to talk about yourself. 
Mm. But because I'm so like modest, I don't know where you come from, but I'm talking about my friend. I always talk about David because I grew up with David and all his family and all stuff and, and the other, but I always talk about the others. Mm -hmm. yep. And when he said that, I was like, oh, yeah. And, but it's like you, you plant the seed mm. and he has to, it has to do his journey. And I think this is where I start. If you say something to me, it stays thick. It's not like I'll do it, but it stays thick. I was like, and that will happen. I say, oh man, I need to talk about me. And I had the book, like I would all mm -hmm. the book from Julian Angel and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people use it as a reference because I think it's the most accurate thing you had so far, the piece of a document you have, the, the closest you can have. But uh, in terms of positioning, uh, without being too much, as the I'm the one who's literally in the centerpiece of yeah. like the history because uh, from everywhere, like from Sarcel, I've been here at the beginning. I don't know if you know Sarcel, but uh, or, uh, cousin David's cousin. Yep. I deep I dig deep into David's family because uh, we talk about David's father, but no one talk about David's grandfather. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he was a um, like m very important piece for David's development and his and journey. Also, like I can connect everything. I've been firefighter in Paris. Yep. Following uh, David's uh, lineage of firefighters. firefighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because I was just curious, you know, like uh, you have to do military. What do I do? Uh, <laughs> I was like, no, nah, that's not my stuff. We do. So that was um mm -hmm. like a what do they call it? The service, the service. that you have yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah, you have to do. Yeah, so I was you... the last. <laughs> we were the last years where you have to do. Oh, they stopped wow. doing that now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. No, done doing so, so you chose you... to be a firefighter. Yeah. What yeah. other choices? Firefighter or in the military? Did you say? Yeah, yeah. Are they the only two? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah, you have to choose. So which one? And I said, no, mm -hmm. I'm going to be a firefighter. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. to learn to save. Yeah. So that's what I did, but at the same time, I was searching the truth, like my truth, but also the truth of you know, like when your friends say, yeah. I'm a, uh, my my father did this and this this you when you're young say yeah mm -hmm. but at some point you become older say oh, that's really true yeah so yeah. I did my journey just for me to know and then I had my own journey so that's why I always say I, I'm, I was here I can say yeah I was here for this and this and this and this but mm -hmm. it's important as I say also to have a, a chronological aspect because all the story you can see in Julie's book as I say for me it's it's real. Mm. It's just completely crushed with time and just like yeah, because I guess it's a book and it's edited and everything. And yeah, it's, it's yeah. completely mixed. So you say yeah, it's true, but from for his point of view, it's absolutely true. But it's not the same story at this time because this person was eight years old and this one was the, and this one didn't come before. And I think sometimes I try to now, it, it, you know, like I did it last time, but I still think like to really get very stronger how I explain it, and also to make because there's still some not battle but argument. And I think it's almost to say like history to be very accurate. It's like, yeah, it started in France, yep. a certain mm -hmm. place, you know, no one can deny that. And then after you can say like the founders, what is the founders? Who is founders? But it's like, okay, in a matter of 10 years, there is a group of people who all participate mm -hmm. to make it, to launch like a wagon. Like yeah. If I yeah. Say, yeah. Launch yeah. a wagon. No one can deny that. Anything else, people say, yeah, but I was, I don't care. <laughs> because, because if you go with fact, you can say, even you, you can say, mm -hmm. no, that was this moment. Yeah. There was a group of people who did this and then do your research. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, That's crazy. Were you, do you feel like you were the only one um, who recorded as much as you did? Um, because well, I'm, I'm just, I was just blown away at how much you managed to keep and save. Yeah. Because if no one if no one did, imagine if no one did. Yeah, you're like the, the Do you know history, what I mean? It's like yeah. it's, it's history important. keeper. Like. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got stuff I regret. Like I've got uh, David's father wrote me a letter, double page letter. Uh -huh. <sighs> and you still have it? Or? No. Oh, oh no. that's what you're. It's terrible. But you don't know. Like when someone, is, you never know the importance of it. That's mm. why, like, I keep as uh, every single thing I've ever filmed, yeah. I keep. Yeah, and yeah. you see, like, yeah. we have. Mm. I'm trying to slowly collect more and more <laughs> art. Like up here, look, I have you. Yeah, it's Yeah, he's it. Like, yeah. it's, it's like, like that. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I try and keep probably not as much as you, but it's just because even in the, I, like I've done it 19 years and yeah. now this stuff feels so important yeah. to me and it's, it's sick. Like, mm. yeah. um, and then you turn it to NFT. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But, um, <laughs> Don't start talking about NFT. Yeah. Charles loves an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> where, <Sorry guys. laughs> where was I going to go with that? But, oh, that's what I was going to say. To anyone who hasn't um, watched Seb's video, he he 
very, very like in-depth, breaks it down with like whiteboards and books and, mm-hmm. and shows it all. And he literally starts at the point of like, look, it started here in this town. Like this mm-hmm. is the town, this is the, and he breaks it down year by year and year. And I think we'll try and run through some of that stuff, but it's definitely worth a watch. It's, it's just on your Instagram highlights, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, That's how far I can go in terms of organi- uh, organizing myself. I loved it. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to turn the camera around and there's this board and it's like, wow. Oh, that's like, good. Yeah, yeah. And Sorry. you interviewed um, Yannick? Uh, uh, I interviewed um, Xavier. Xavier, yeah, Xavier, sorry. Yeah. Xavier, which is literally like schoolmate when we were kids, like literally. Yeah, he wow. Didn't, when I started gymnastic, he started before me. Yeah. Xavier and Frederick, which is uh, Jan's brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my story. My story is like we were playing ninja. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. so let's, let's yeah, dive yeah. into I this. I want to talk so, about this for sure. In, in the thing, you basically, you say that, so parkour with a C yeah. started mm-hmm. 1987, 1988 with David Bell, David and Jan. And yeah, it was in yeah, Lease and yeah, you all lived in the same town. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I know, keep hold on with what you're going to say. Because yeah. Even like you see now, because I wrote it down, everything was clear. But now talking with Xavier, it just brings some peace, you know, like it brings like missing pieces. And I realized, oh my God, I arrived even before. Ah. They arrived here. But yeah. When mm-hmm. I met Xavier, like he says, uh, we were in uh, en sixième, so we were... And he said like, oh yeah, I was 11. He said he was 11, so I was 12. Yep. So I just make the, you do the math because I'm uh, 1974. So it's like, oh yeah, so in season I was here. And then you see the lines, so you just push yourself. Oh no, I thought I was here. So was, oh my God. And, yeah. like, and, the, and it's interesting how the memory, the plasticity of the brain, yep. it's like everything. Oh yeah, now I get it because, mm-hmm. so even that, it's gonna be even more like more refined with the stuff I prepare later, uh-huh. but, but it's gonna be more refined because people will bring peace into it to help me to get this even like stronger in terms of accuracy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so so those yeah. guys start. Yeah. And when, I mean, were they just playing? Like when did they say, okay, we're calling it parkour with a C? Uh, you need to speak with the, the guys. That's, All right, that's I'll, easy, I'll, bring up, I'll bring up David. Uh, <laughs> I can, oh yeah, now because I know David now doesn't care anymore. But uh, <laughs> I'm still in contact with, with all of them. Yeah, I'm yeah. really in contact with all of them. But some of them, like almost the, the deal we have is we're not, we're not talking about this anymore. Yeah. But mm-hmm. for me, I think it's important because I'm very involved into what's happening with this, all the great stuff. I did, a, I traveled around the world like a few years ago. I wanted to have a, an idea of w- what is it about, how it evolved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It gave me a clear like, whoa, okay. Oh, you traveled that. around to see parkour? Yeah, as, as, yeah. that's why wow, I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I went everywhere. Went to see like uh, in America, uh, Asia, like everywhere. I wanted to see, uh, and people see me doing my workshop, but I've got two sides. Like in my head, there is one is like observe, because I think I always wanted to be a teacher or like a master, you know, like yeah, that's yeah. my mm-hmm. name is like the master who knows everything. But anyway, <laughs> but this part always still like, I care. It's, yeah. it's, it's, I'm a gym, Gemini, so I've got the battle, like I don't care, but I care. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, so go back to where we were. Where was well, it? so like, I mean, so they, they started, they were doing parkour yeah. with a C and you had this uh, gymnastics, football, athletics background yeah. that my, your, yeah. your dad got you into. Yeah. Football. Did, my dad football, made me yeah. a football player. And did you just see these? I mean, Lise is like small. Oh yeah, it's very small. And the school and the play, like that. Did you just see the guys around and you were like, that looks cool? Okay, like, oh, okay, okay. My dad want me to be a football player or my brother, like like sport, the like cultural sport first. Okay, yep. it was like, this is it, you go. Then at some point around like when, I don't know, six, uh, 12 years old, okay. I go to school and I met uh, Xavier and Frédéric. Was this the school in the center of Lys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was, uh, it's uh, because Lys is, there is the Vieux Lys, the old Lys, yeah. and the new Lys, because they built, you know, they built. Ah, okay. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. That's where the guys arrive, like uh, Jan, Frédéric. Yeah, see. okay. But when you go to college, college, I don't know if you see the same, mm-hmm. you like both meet here, just somewhere here. Yeah. That's where I was with them in school. So when I arrive in school, you play, the new friend, you go outside, you go with them. Their play was like, I remember like two bars, like two railing, two railing. I said, oh, I can do this jump, I can do this. I said, and then me, I was just walking and say, oh, Seb, could you do it? Yes, I can. But sure, I said, no, I don't want to. But that's the first thing. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, could you do it? And me, I was just like, man, I can't, but I, I didn't really know. But 
I just say, that was the first introduction for me for this idea of jumping from one side to the other. So just to tell you, they were already kind of in this mindset yeah. of mm -hmm. the jump and stuff like that, which for me is like, mm. But imagine if you that day had just gone, Nah. Yeah. <laughs> just carried on. Yeah, but I had a, uh, at least it's always, it's green area. It's yeah. like you're climbing trees. You always like- It's outside. beautiful. I love this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I always had this in me. We go outside. I was always with my bike outside. So the activity, we have it. At least you can see activity. Yeah. But they did this. And then I was always with them. And that's where we are playing ninja. Okay, let's play ninja. So we go in the roof of the school. I don't know if you see this. Yeah, school. yeah, yeah. That was our place. We go like <laughs> what, the school with the arm jump. Is, or is that the school, school near the Dam de Lac? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a teeny, tiny school. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. 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 They were their school. Uh, it's a primary school. Yeah. So they grew up here with David, and so they, they were in this school. Me, I wasn't because I was in the old lease. Yeah. And okay. So that, that's where we met. And yeah, then the... I went with them. I mean, so, oh my dad, I hope my dad won't see me because my my dad works for the town. So uh, <laughs> if I do anything wrong, the hoop yeah, yeah, on yeah. the roof. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was exciting for me because we were like literally like I'm night time until we were seeing people like walking. It's not high, but it was like no, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, yeah. It is a good feeling. We rule the world, you know, kind of stuff like yeah. that. was my first introduction and we had this art story, but I will share mm -hmm. later. Did you and get in much trouble with that? Did you ever no. get? No? no, 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 no. People didn't care. It's just really. kids being kids, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. you've got three, it's a small town. You've got a few kids and meh. Yeah. And you were like yeah. 12, right? 13. 12, it's like yeah. no, no one really cared. We didn't That's do perfect, any though. like massive, there is no massive jump, nothing like, oh my God, they're going to hurt you. It's just kids on the roof, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, like, you throw the ball in the on the roof. You yeah, throw yeah, it. yeah. Oh, yeah. Get ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. That's the classic it. one. And I, you say, uh, you you are very influenced by obviously Bruce Lee and and the Church of Dragon Ball. And I I know nothing about Dragon Ball Z. And I thought, I then, yeah, I I thought Dragon Ball Z started in like you know two thousand, but I googled it and it was yeah nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, yeah. So for see, you that see, was like you can trust, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon yeah. Ball. Also, like you say Dragon Ball Z, but before Dragon Ball Z, there was Dragon Ball. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. But that's the one I was watching, Dragon Ball. So oh, you wow. were just like doing this these these jumps, can't from here to there, but in, very inspired by like yeah your normal like yeah Dragon Ball and and yeah. Bruce Lee and things and yeah yeah. So how around that time? I mean, so when when did it start to sort of take shape because in your what they shape i i guess i guess the 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 foundation of the movements the introduction mm -hmm. of like like when did you start care you know like start caring about that sort of stuff because it goes from playing to then suddenly being like oh i actually care about doing this jump or do you know what i mean like from a lot that's my story for me it's all start with david Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had none of that. Like it took me ages to understand. Like for me, I always want to have friends, mm. and it's cooler to have friends who's like doing this stuff, like we're active, than someone who's just like I don't know, isn't playing. I did play a video game, but you know what I mean. Yeah, and um, I was with Frederic and Xavier. I went with. G they introduced me to gymnastic, but the thing is, uh, try to really explain. Like, okay, to answer to the question. For me, it started with David. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the playfulness started with Xavier and Frederic. Then after, along the way, and Jan also, which is in uh, the Yamakasi. Yep. Trained before, because when I went to with see my friend Frederic, Jan was already training. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. He had uh, like a punch bag in his in his garage. It, it was it was like kind of a. Like a because you <laughs> you also yeah. say that like your training at the start was more can kind of conditioning and oh, yeah. yeah less mm -hmm. less nothing to do with what you know guys now yeah mm -hmm. it took me oh my god it took me a journey to climb the damn do like everyone climbed damn do like i was like i'm not going there it's high <laughs> it's, it's really high yeah, when we went there yeah. i didn't think it was going to be as high as it was yeah because you you didn't climb i didn't it, climb did it when no, i went yeah. there you guys did For yeah. me, say, i'm gonna die you yeah. know, my, my mindset's <laughs> like you know people can be turned into positive some people's got a good mindset i i think was Makes mm. completely positive with my imagination. So, oh my God, you're gonna. Mm, uh, uh, uh. So, it's, oh, okay. <laughs> so you see, it took me years and years and years to get this, and I can I can explain. But that's what also I like with uh, with when I'm because I'm a teacher. I've got my academy. I can teach uh, kids, not those who are talented who can do this, but those who say no, I can't. I say, I can show you the way because I've been there. Yeah, mm. to turn that mindset around. Oh yeah, yeah. So for me, yeah, it was conditioning at the beginning. Dragon Ball was not. There was no not so much about jump. It was just like, uh, now I'm gonna be like, here we go. Seb, how he was. I thought I can move rocks. 
You were a nerd. You were a nerd. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, I remember, like, there is no way. Sir. And I was talking to whatever. I said, like, come on, come on, just for me. Give me just, you give me the power. I will not tell anyone. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> never move, of course. No. Star Wars, all this stuff. You're like, yeah, yeah. That was, that was the mindset I had when yeah. I was 12. You see? Yeah. So all the training was like, if people, I hope, I really hope I'll find someone. Because in the next stuff, I tried to get people who knew me at the beginning. They will tell you like, oh, Seb, it's just like, you see a guy with the shorts, barefoot, top off, massive bag with a lot of books inside. <laughs> Where are you going? You know, like when everyone's doing things. And mm -hmm. you're just like, I go to the forest. And wow. it's like, you know, just like. It, it was something called uh, Les Chevaliers du Zodiac. So it's a Zodiac uh, Knight or something like that. It's a manga kind of stuff where people uh, have a bag and yeah. they got an armor, you know? <laughs> Now when you think back, so, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> So if I see this, even here, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. But you were enjoying it back then, that's yeah. the thing. No, but I Just was- in, the, in it. I yeah. was in my, I was in my- You're in your own world. world. Yeah. I was literally, school, I didn't like it, I hated it. Like, uh, why do I do, oh yeah, you need to do this. It doesn't make sense, I can't hide it. But here it was like a world of adventures. Mm -hmm. like, we're like, <laughs> yeah. like, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Um, you, you mentioned like, uh, also like a lot of mysticism, which I guess is what you're kind of talking about there. Like you, you back then, did you kind of think you were all kind of epic? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. For me, it was like, uh, I was Peter Parker. Yeah. Literally. It's mm -hmm. like, I'm in school. I was like, yeah, now I've got something special. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's. Also and was this all the guys or like just your men? Mindset? You need to ask them. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, I was, I'm nerd. For me, I still have my comics books and all my stuff. Like, yeah. Amazing. And for me, it was this. I was like, I've got a superpower. I don't care. I yeah. Like, mm. Even with my dad and mom, they didn't even know what I was doing at the time. <laughs> you know, like, it's yeah. funny because in the movie, you see when the guys discover superpower. Yeah. yeah. I was, they I didn't was tell like, you. It a secret. I got it. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's so cool. Um, you, I mean, so later on in the talk, when you're talking to Jerome, you yeah. Jerome, you you kind of go on to talk. You're talking a lot about like play, um, yeah. Yeah. but then also you talk about stuff like the sort of the three second rule for the jumps and yeah. and how you would go and look at something and then step down and train the fundamentals. That to me sounds like things started to become a little bit more yeah. like structured and, and always been like that. Yeah. I always been like that. And that was the secretive stuff with Jerome I was doing. It's like there is clan, start yeah. to have clan. And there is people who have got battle between them. I won't name, but and for me, it's like, and Jerome had so much uh, apprehension, fear and stuff like that. I said, I'm going to work with you. Yeah. Mm. Because I, I did stuff for me and he works on me, but to bulletproof, I need to someone. And when he comes to me, he says, oh, you will do nothing with me because I've got so much fear and stuff like that. I said, good. <laughs> and then I bring him on and I work and I work in a, because I always watch everything. I learned from uh, like, you know, horse riding stuff. I pick up so many stuff and I, so I, I try, but it's all come from Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee does a, a dancing, fencing, all this stuff and he mix, he call it Jeet Kune Do. That's why I wanted to do free running. Yeah, yeah, you because used to explain this. At, at the beginning. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What did, I, what did I do? We'll anyway. go. On, we'll go on to this, but yeah. Let's oh, I love it. that. That's funny. <laughs> but that was my idea. It's like I felt like in my bubble, I was creating stuff. Oh yeah, it works like that on oh, my brain. Mm -hmm. And I was discover like there is a time for for uh, deciding do I want to do it or not. Then a, t a time to prepare to do it. Like it has to be something. And then a time to execute. Like all this stuff. And I was working on that. Okay, now we need to have a pattern. So we need to be consistent. Otherwise, it goes one time. You do like uh, he took me like one minute, and this time it took me one second. It's, it's it's very inconsistent, and my body, my how I am, I need consistency. Mm -hmm. It has to be clear. So I call it the horse. You know, like I'm the rider. This is the horse, uh, okay, and yeah. my horse is. <laughs> and I was like, no, it doesn't work. David just to me, he's like, oh, yeah, like, woo. And I, was like, <laughs> I couldn't do that, so I need to find my way. So it started to work. Then I say I work with uh, Jerome with that. That's why I came with my rules for three seconds. Yeah. And, uh, and repetition was important back then. I'd say more yeah. more so than it is now. Too much. Too yeah, much. because I, when, yeah. I remember when we were in Lease and you took us, uh, me and Tim, out to the forest and you showed us the, I guess the actual like parkour yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were saying like we would climb up here and do a thousand oh height drops. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, that's just, just boom, boom, boom. Like yeah. who, 
who was the person instigating that? Was that David or? David did it, but I believe it's Jan. Really? But again, now, now you need to speak with the people yeah, after yeah. whatever they do. Mm -hmm. In my, like for me, I know it's a really, and if you see the ADD guys, yep. it's you literally, if you trace it, oh yeah, you, you can see the, this redundance of doing something like a lot, like, and uh, I believe it's Jan. After, yeah. uh, again, in this 10 years time, whoever say it's him or him, it's, we were very close to the, the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. So yeah, we were repeating, but I think it's, it was very, you know, like Yamakasi is strong spirits, a strong body, strong mind, you know, yep. all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was that, it didn't teach us like, you know, technically you refine, I can explain also the, where the techniques start to really shape, like, mm -hmm. do something like that. And, uh, but for me, it was good for my mind. Yeah. Like literally I can go through pain because some kids, even in my academy, they don't, uh, 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 show me. It's like, there is nothing, but they never experience pain. So for them, it's like, it's a big signal. So, oh. Mm -hmm. But for us, my God. So you're really training the mind. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. And, and, and cried. We cried, we bleed. Like I, I call it the three noble uh, liquid. That was sweat, bleed, and cry. Yeah. Wow. For me, if you didn't sweat, you didn't sweat, bleed, blood and cry. And tears. Yeah, Whatever, yeah. you don't do that. I was like... No, and so was yeah, this well, like... Was. How, how old... You sort of started when you were like 11, 12. But how old are you when you started getting like... Kind of because this is serious, like the repetition, like mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, alors attends, sixième, uh, twelve. Alors ça c'est probably ça c'est um, maybe nineteen ninety one, nineteen ninety something like when I so came a few to a, sort of mid mid teenage years. Yeah, it took me uh, like a time to yeah because there is a time also. I remember there was a movie called Kickboxer with Jean Claude Van Damme. Okay, and they were like, uh, <laughs> not like hitting uh, poles. And oh stuff yeah. Like that. <laughs> Oh my God, we're so like, oh my God. That's the time where we were like, we're going in the forest and we try to find piece of rock. Like, grr, grr, <laughs> and we're breaking with David. Like, look, I break this one, this one, about that one. <laughs> it's like, I break it. So you see, it, it was so a journey. So much of this is lost now. Is that what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, oh this is, no so one does different. this sort of No, thing. I can see. That's why yeah. sometimes I say, even now I say, oh, I don't think I do parkour. Do my the parkour I see? Because mm. I know, I know how it is. I'm very into it. I say, uh, I say that's not how I grew up. Yeah. I grew up, now I know what I do is a fitness with parkour incorporating. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. for me, parkour is number one. Sorry, I'm, we are biased, but for me, parkour is number one. Yeah. So it's my fitness with parkour, but now it's more refined. So I took away everything I don't need and I keep the essence of it. And now this is what I do. So mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just to touch on when you were saying about age, did you ever feel like when you started going through your teens and like to, kind of early adult, did you feel like physically getting stronger? Like there was a point. Yeah. Because I feel like for a lot of people who train even nowadays, that uh, for me, I got it. There was like suddenly a burst. Like when you start growing up yeah. and you're like, yeah, yeah. whoa, it's almost like a rush. You're like suddenly. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's physiological. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's just like this. And then, yeah. Especially if you guys were breaking stuff and well, things. So This, it was really for the mind. Yeah. yeah. Once I, for me, when I, when this clicked, I think I've I, now I started to become like almost invincible in the head because it's like you've got your superpower because mm -hmm. the first superpower is like, I'm mysterious. No one knows that, that, that. But then after it's like, I can under pain and trust me guys, we did like, yeah. like pff, crawling like on the fist like this and it's bleeding. It's like, and you just look for, forward and no one like, it's like a rule between us. No one just like, uh, with David, like, especially David, David just keep on going. <laughs> it's just stop, it's like, okay, see ya. And he's like, and you use everything you have in your, in your, in your story. Mm. Something happened in your family, whatever, whatever you need to bring it on. Like, the adversity, uh, yeah. Wow. And sometimes like something scary is, uh, <laughs> and we just do this. And that was our, our culture. That's why I talk about Dead Poet Society. Yeah. I felt we were like that. It's yeah. just like, uh, or even um, Fight Club. Yeah. You just walk, <laughs> the just secret look, club. You just, you just look, sir. Okay, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know we're part of it. Mm hmm. Amazing. Um, I mean, so like, obviously, like, David's story is David's story, but yeah. from when you were sort of that young and you were training with him, like, what you, you sort of say in the talk that you gave that he wasn't like, the leader, but he kind of was better physically at that time oh, yeah. and things. Yeah, yeah. What was what was it like? I, I don't actually know the age difference. Are you the same age or? David is one year. He's the same. 
a, uh, age of my brother David. I've got another ah, brother okay, David. Yeah, yeah. So they were in school together. That's, yeah. what, that's how everything goes because they, they were in the same uh, class. Yeah, because I mean, even just you talking now, it sounds like he was the one kind of always like pushing the limits further, like kind of just <laughs> driving you guys on. It's, it's the drive. That's why I call about the drive. Yeah. It's so important, whatever you want to do. It's like, for me, my story is about uh, love and hurt. How do I, how did I get hurt? And how much I love something. And that's my, that was my drive. And me, it's a friendship. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a friendship person. That's why I get hurt a lot along the story of Bar. That's why sometimes I say, I don't believe in community, you know, kind of stuff like that. Because I've seen stuff. Yeah. So mm. For me, anyway. And uh, David, he didn't grow up with his dad. Mm. Mm. And his dad's got all this legendary story and stuff like that. So you can understand if you do, you just everything you can see. So here is the drive. Yeah. So for him, it's like, I need to show I exist. For me, it's just, I'm with my friend already, so I don't have to do it. You do the job I call the ambulance. <laughs> you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Um, it's so crazy how like, sto- it feels so story driven. Like l- looking back on it, it's like, it, it doesn't feel like, it feels like a movie. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're talking yeah. about it. Because they did epic shit. I know. It's just, it, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just my Nowadays, way. all the kids sit and we're just like this. And you I, guys. I know. Like, it's yeah. just, I forget that, yeah, this sort of stuff exists. And, and also, real, I think like, when you have, like, been at the start of what has then turned into such a global movement, it, mm. it there's magnitude behind mm. it. Like, and it's, yeah. it's a rare. It's a small town, also. It's small yeah. town. Yeah. It's such like, a small town. Sometimes I say, like, arguing is stupid because, it's, like, you can't even, even if you. Make the map a little bit bigger. It's still epic, guys. Yeah. It's like, look what we've done. Yeah. Like, uh, that's why I see in the panel, I put the three movies. Yep. Because even you separate, guys, I, like I say, we were the like number one team ever, like mm-hmm. literally. like, And you can see the power we had because you split into three and the three did something anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And for I, me, I didn't like, think about that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I want to go on to the films, yeah, but go, um, go on, go. the... Damn it, you said something I was going to... Um, well, I, it, you spoke about the community thing that we were going to speak about. Yeah, that, so I wanna could... sp- that I want to speak about, but yeah. there was just something you said about police, small town, films. No, it's gone. Um, I'll be back. Yeah, the, the, the sort of... Well, there's two things. I mean, you mentioned David and his father, and when I was speaking to Max Henry last night, mm. he actually said, like, I'd love to hear more stories about your relationship with Raymond and, and sort of that. And I don't know if you want to talk about that stuff, but apparently sort of, I guess Julie's book maybe doesn't paint things in the best light. Yeah. Um, but apparently that's not necessarily kind of exactly how it was. And I, d- I don't know if you want to go into it, but like. <clears throat> Alors, uh, the story is with Raymond. Alors, personally speaking, Raymond always did good stuff to me he introduced yeah. me he give me he knew i was drawing so he give me he gave me books for to encourage me to draw as i say i wish i've got this letter yeah oh my god even sometimes like ah oh, damn it because you can see for real someone was his written and what is was what he was saying despite what i've heard the other story like uh, nobody's perfect completely okay i'm not saying like anything but I give my word to some of the family because I'm still in contact with uh, William and Shaw and I know yeah. there is some stuff hurting in the family. So I say, you know what? I won't portray him like the superhero who did everything is ma- ma- magic, uh, is, uh, is magical or stuff, stuff like that. But story-wise, I'm a guy who just watch, I'm a completely nerd who watch movie, okay? Nothing around me in school tells me you're going to be something, you're going to do something. Yeah. So I watch movie. In the movie, I watch Karate Kid when you have Miyagi San who's doing wax on, wax off, and the guy completely turned from like I'm weak and I can't do nothing to I'm like I'm a badass, you know, kind of stuff like that. I meet a guy called David who's doing his stuff, which is already like it was oh David, David, David. So oh, good, good. Yeah, he's my friend, you know. Yeah. Then he say yeah, but my father. If you think like me with Bruce Lee. Like Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee's dead. He's dead in 1973. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm literally sitting next to someone. He's talking. My dad is like Bruce Lee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> David, like, oh yeah, my dad said, we need to meet him. I push David, said, we need to meet him. Oh yeah, but you know, no, you. <laughs> so for me, it's like, I go. That's why I decide to go to Sarcel. Yeah, okay. I don't care. I go to Sarcel, man. I'm <laughs> just like, I need to go. 
So uh, to answer to your question, so you said, yeah, what was uh, what what is your question with Raymond? Um, I mean, I guess you're kind of answering it. I just like I think Max was just he he was curious to hear if, sort of what you you personally your opinion of of Raymond was, and I think you kind of you summed it up. Hello, to me, he yeah. always been good. That's all I can say. Yeah, well, uh, that's to me always been good, and everything he say basically he opened my mind like. It is possible. I was talking, you know, like, if you think about Dame du Lac, <laughs> I remember, you know, Dame du Lac, there is the, we call the marteau, the hammer. You know, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Then we've got la cabane, so it's like a... The, the cab, yeah, the, 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 the yeah. But you've got what we call the chimney. It goes, do, 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 do. you know, the chimney. In the middle. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you can jump from nest. Yeah. You see that one, okay? And what was my question? I say, yeah, oh, uh, oh, Raymond, do you think we can jump from here to, to the floor? Like... The, you say chimney to the top, yeah. to the floor. <laughs> the top. Yeah. You say, yeah, of course. So that's like, you know, yeah. I was like, I don't know, 14, 15. They said, yeah, yeah, you can. Absolutely. You need to train. Explain. You need to train. You do this and this and this. Yeah, and this yeah, and yeah. This. And that's like, for me, I was like, oh, wow. I was not near, like, even like, forget. But the the amount of possibilities in the in That he, like, instilled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like, for me, so, okay. Yeah, it's possible. Rather it's than like, putting the limits on somebody, it was yeah. like it's like you meet Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee say to you, "It's already can do like amazing stuff," and he say, "You can like yeah. lift." You know, I talked to you about the rock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, yeah. like it's like you send a message to the universe, and someone said, "Now he's telling you you can do, but you need to train a lot." Yeah. Wow. Now you can understand. Now at this point, you can talk to me. I'm off. I was like, I'm gonna train <laughs> until I lift the rock. <laughs> I'm a superhero. <laughs> amazing. So yeah, yeah. Something that I think you said in the thing that I found quite interesting was, um, well, I, I think it sounded kind of very correct, I guess, was that you, like when you were training in the early days, although obviously Raymond was a presence, and also there was the... Okay, uh, hold on with what you're gonna yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Very important. Raymond was here on a very... Uh, yeah, so this is what I was... Small part. And mm -hmm. he was not the guy who trained everyone. No. We already launched something. David has his own drive, which me, because I was with David, I was dr drawn into this path. Like, whoa, you know, uh, which I was like, it was a bit scary. I, however, that was this. But the training mindset was already, already there. there. And uh, sometimes I say that to David. I know it's your dad, so you want to speak. But you are very important piece yeah. of this. You're the driving force for this based on whatever you drive. But Raymond didn't do a precision jump. He could, but did mm -hmm. I didn't see him doing tic tac. Yeah. I've seen him, for me, my memories, Raymond was strength. Mm. <laughs> like story I've heard, like I was like, nah. You're like, nah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what yeah. I can say. It's because like, also you, in the around that same sort of topic, you spoke about, uh, speak about George Herb. George Herb. Herb. Yeah. And the fact, because growing up doing parkour, like I, obviously I, I saw Jump London. That's what got me into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then I sort of quite quickly did some research and I knew it was like you and David and people like this. But then I remember at some stage, you know, the forums and things. And some people are like, oh no, like those guys kind of started it, but actually George Herbert, like, also kind of started it, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And something that you say that I think is very important is that you didn't have the internet, you didn't have social media. Yeah. So mm -hmm. other people were doing kind of, of method naturel, but like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you guys are the guys who, yeah. like you put it in a box almost. We like, launch, I always say that we launch a fashion phenomenon. Yeah. Like people say, oh yeah, I'm a Jackie Chan. Yeah, 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 but absolutely true. You can see Jackie Chan doing TikTok and stuff like that, but even Jackie Chan would be here, will inspire a lot of stunt guys and stuff like that, but will not turn into a cultural phenomenon and yeah. stuff like that. We did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I I never want to be the person who take everything from me. It's like it's like, hey, hold on. I did stuff. Yeah. And that's my story. It's yeah. like because the story of all the founder what everyone's arguing is because it's the lack of recognition from each other. Mm. So oh yeah, 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 I did this, but how about me? No, you did nothing. Okay, so I did nothing, so you did nothing. That's that's how I discover along those ah. That's where the, the the main problem is. Yeah. That's why I say 10 years, everyone did something, everyone brings something, whatever, now you can- argue. Yeah, because in, oh, so there's two things, but in the talk, you kind of jump from like 1989 when you kind of yeah. started, and then quite quickly you're talking about like 1997 with a state two documentary and things. Yeah. There's obviously a long, 10 years is a long time. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. and I guess that was the real- I write everything. <laughs> the yeah, development. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but when I was talking to Max, he said, like, 
were there other people in that period from the early days who sort of maybe have been forgotten about, but also for like, I don't know, for a year, somebody came in and, and was quite impactful and did things and then maybe, or, or were those original people and they've kind of all stayed and like everyone knows about them? I th uh there is a very important moment. You know, like there is, after is like people br bring their energy to yeah. keep on going, but there is very, a decisive moment. That's why I say like, Jan has a culture of training, but that's why they were ADD. David has a drive. And uh, if I, without being too much with me. You're the fun, I'm, the I'm, play. I'm, I'm, I love the play, but I'm a thinker. Yeah. Like I'm like, you see me around, even like you see me in World Chase Tag. You see, you see me playing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm a thinker. Oh yeah, because I see you thinking as well. When you're when you're with the teams, you're. I yeah, can... I think a lot. Yeah. Like, even I'm thinking at many level. I'm thinking about the pure technique and everything. I can watch you guys like uh, when Motus will arrive. I, I watch everything, like what, how you do it. What I observe. My brain is is geared like that. So I mm -hmm. think, and then I'm thinking about and meditate a lot. So I say. Like I take a time machine and say, okay, 10 years later, I was going to be, or maybe yeah, like that. okay, that's option one. Like multiverse, you know, yeah. I'm going a little bit far, but that's how my brain is. It's like, oh yeah, maybe it's going to be like, oh yeah, maybe it's like, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So oh, my past is going to be there because yeah. that's who I am. It, that's, that's what I do. But yeah, I'm a thinker. So that's for me, the decisive moment, but everyone brings something. That's for me, it's very important. When I talk, I want, everyone is listening for it, wherever they are, you bring something. Mm. Okay. But also what is important. None of us are rich, so stop arguing. <laughs> it's like you're arguing over something and nothing. At least, at least one guy's got a massive house and villa and stuff like that. I said, yeah, you stole everything. But it's like guys, it's like, come on. We have to... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. You know I, I mean, mean, that's it's it's. I guess it's that community thing that you because in the in the the talk you say um, what was it like? you're careful with the word community yeah, yeah, because everybody knows each other. Like we, I, I have friends yeah. in America and things, but at the same time, if we actually had community and we were really, really connected, we wouldn't have a lot of the issues we have. Oh right? yeah, like, big time. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a fact. And for me, I prefer that way. I can travel over, let's see, I see you, I see. I, I don't call it community. We, we know, I know, I can see eye contact. Mm -hmm. And wherever you see me, like I said that last time, I say, if I'm even in red carpet, you know me. I would mm. never pass like this. So I'd be like, hey, man, oh, because this is me. After, it's what you teach, how you convey stuff. But for me, I believe this is more powerful to have like eye contact and talking to each other than the fake community. Yep. And mm. I've been there with all the fiat uh, movement, uh, whatever they call it, like, and everyone tried to do things. And, and because I'm an observer, and also I've, I, in the time machine, I've been there and I'm here, so I can see, I say, I've seen this game, you know, mm -hmm. I've seen this game. I know where it's going to go, yeah. but I always have hope because I'm very positive. That's why, I, you know, the movement, I don't know if you remember this federation we tried to, uh, yeah, to do yeah. when I, for the first time I managed to bring all the founder together. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I did the logo, you know, I did the oh, logo. Oh really? Yeah. I did the logo that was Dame du Lac. So I'm, I'm thinking, so it's Dame du Lac. So it's a symbol that everyone recognized. Yeah. And I put three stars on top. The three stars represent the achievement of everyone. So now everyone can shut them. Do the, the, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you see, like, that, that's how I, and I explained to them, like David was here, that's like, this is, you see? So, and even someone was, bite your lips, accept he brings some, and then let's move on because we can, unify you know like because mm -hmm. i'm a visionary so i can see you have no idea what we can do yeah but it never happened <laughs> oh. <laughs> um does does the sorry. uh no just because you're saying like you're well you have such an active mind anyway yeah does that ever like get the better of you is that is it ever too much what do you mean do you know what i mean like because you're thinking so much and planning things and jumping in the future or the past and stuff is it ever too much or is it easily manageable it's too much for people around me Okay. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Your family is like. To. <laughs> oh, I can't wait because when I do the interview, people will know me for real. Like, mm -hmm. okay, oh, that's even like in my house. That's like my, I call it the sanctuary. See, it's it's geared in a certain way. It's like it can't be differently mm -hmm. because your place, like I see here, it's an extension of your brain. Mm -hmm. it's an extension for me is so important, and I I I learned this to. Uh, um, I needed to learn earlier because now this is what makes who you are. Now I know I'm going to, I'm already successful, but I'm, I know if life allow me to go further, I'm going to be, I can be whatever I want to be. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. 
I was listening. Do you know um, Jay Jay Shetty? Jay, he's a like a um, uh, think think like a monk. He wrote that book. Okay, no. Ah, uh, okay. He's a, he's a kind of um, spiritual mental type thing. Mm-hmm. I was listening to a podcast with him on it this morning actually, and he was saying that he he constantly thinks. He, he, he was talking about some of his vulnerabilities and he was yeah. saying that he falls into the trap of thinking like, oh, maybe this person I meet is going to be the one who helps me to the next level. Maybe this person, da, 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 and then he has to keep reminding himself that actually it's it's all him. Yeah. Like, and he's like wildly successful, but he right. just has to keep reminding himself that actually if he wants to achieve something, it's all like, yeah, it's yeah, all him. Yeah. But you need people to... I call it the key. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why you need to be aware. Like you can say something to me, I can be nye, nye, so proud of myself, I'm Sebastian Foucault, but literally you say to me what I need for, for my next step. And mm-hmm. so, uh, but if you listen, like I say, see, when some, that's why I remember when uh, John says something to me, mm. it stays. Yeah, plants the seed. Something, mm-hmm. it, it stays. And for me, I just like, hold on, hold on. And I can hold, I can hold a lot. I just, and I observe people and their journey. So if someone's got to, ah, oh, I will do, you know, anyway, so, because now I start to see I go far away. So, <laughs> go back. Wow. Bring step. So, 1997, yeah, stay okay. tuned documentary. First, first kind of TV thing of you yeah. guys, right? How did that come about? Like, did, did somebody see you in Lease and were like, we should film those? Or were you... David was already uh, doing a lot of video of himself. And just to put on, like, to, to send out or... No, no. It was not the era of showing for people. It yeah, was just true. Yeah, he had okay. video for him. Mm-hmm. I think for me, it was the first of doing a show reel because mm. he had stuff for it. And his vision, he wanted to be in a movie. Yeah. Okay. He always talked about his dad about this. I want to be in a movie. Anyway, David was doing that. His brother, Mia was a firefighter. So his brother uh, saw the video. And uh, between, because we did the, the first event was called La Nuit du Feu. That's where we were like kind of Yamakasi at this point. Like yeah. we were like all together. And uh, David had a video. So it was this videotape of himself. He was showing. And um, uh, David's brother, Jean-Francois, took the tape and said, you know what? I don't know. Like now he's dead. But like he had the idea of like, I'm going to go in Paris to the channel, like, like go to BBC and say, yeah. talk, talk, I want to show this. You know, I said, no, you need an appointment. So like, no, 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 no. And he says like, I, is you would just take a few minutes of your time, just yeah. like one minute, one minute. And then he's Francis Maroto, the name Francis Maroto. The only guys normally say, no, 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 you need, the, the lady called him and say, I'm coming down. I'm going to have a look what it Amazing. is. Amazing. And then put the tape, say, oh my, that's, that's, that's the story. And that's the, the rest is history. Yeah. Because by this, with this tape, we did this, and then after everyone's, oh my God, what is that? Where we get? Yeah, so did it really, wow. from that point, it went? It went to the roof. Yeah. And that's, I think that's, uh, we were not a group like really, uh, uh, how can I say? There is a few things very important because we were all t- like together, like it's a kind of a cultural things happening around. Like if it's everyone's skateboarding, everyone's skateboarding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this kind of culture was here, like training, we're training. <laughs> but, uh, I think it's Charles, Charles Perrier from the, the group, Yamakasi. Because this was the time when you need to find a, your mom say, okay, now it's good, now you do, but you need to find a job now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, you can see the age, okay? The toughest time for yeah. parkour athletes. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Like, okay, now that's good what you're doing, but what is it? Where's the money? Where's the money? And Charles' his mom has a lot of impact on him. She, you better do something because otherwise I don't want you to see these guys anymore. <laughs> so he went to see David. And they start to talk and together they say, we need to create a group. Yeah. That was the, the start mm-hmm. of this. And that we, was the start of the Yamakasi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The start of Yamakasi. The first event we did is was La Nuit du Feu in a firefighter. Like yeah. Pompier. That's what we did. I, I hope we have this video, my God. <laughs> I remember it was David doing a handstand. I was doing a handstand. People said, wow. It's in my head, I remember this. So this was a performance? Yeah, was it? performance. Yeah. It was, uh, it was the first time ever we had like the logo. With so is this oh, after the documentary? Uh-huh. Of everyone. No, no. Uh, or before this is before is it no it was before oh wow so you s- so you were doing some performances but then the documentary it was the first time it was just special special because la nuit du feu is something specific for a firefighter yeah okay it was the first time the known firefighter come inside the big spectacle event where they do so many stuff yeah and we were in and plus you can hear the people's wow did they do the the firefighter like racing where you're like 
you know, with the, the videos on YouTube, no, they run with the ladders. They did a lot of stuff, but we were, I was, uh, trust me, I was so focused because the story is David managed, you have a, a, a kind of a tower where we have to jump and stuff like that. And David wanted to do the handstand on top of it, like everyone. And me, because I'm a visual, I say, that's amazing. And in my head, you know, my fear of fire, I say, I need to do the handstand. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my stuff. And I, I was scary. So I would come every morning to the to the place because I had special accreditation and I was trying. <sighs> so first I was standing like this. But anyway, so I was I wanted to do this. So yeah, we did this first. Yeah. Oh my God, zip wire. So that was amazing. We had the like, you know, like, wire you, know, you know, like a uh, special force when you got this. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were yeah. dressed like that. My God, you, you can't imagine how cool it was. Yeah. Like, you know, everyone is watching is like, OK, you ready? And you have the music of, uh, you know, Kenya River speed. You know the music? Yeah. Yeah. Dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my God. We we're like. Because like, now, like that's like you you go to a show and you're like, oh, parkour or movement or whatever. That's normal. But I guess that back was then, the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even like people who were here, like they can remember oh, first time. Even before the movie, before everything, the first glimpse of now, those guys who are training, they're fully mature. This is what they can do. Yeah. And we're like we're jumping over cars. People like, Whoa! and we just I do the handstand. And people say, like, "Whoa!" That was to the roof. Then after he took the tape. He went to, hopefully, I think it's after that. I, I think it was after that. Bring the tape, show it, and then the rest of the story goes. Boop, 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 and so it really started picking up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. so. Big time, yeah. Um, wow. Yamakazi was created, and that's where you say that the, 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 uh, 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 du déplacement. <laughs> yeah, and that's, <laughs> who, French. <laughs> <laughs> who decided that sort of, because you'd been calling it parkour with a C first, right? I decided. You decided to to push l'art la... du déplacement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, did you stop saying we're doing parkour and we're doing this now? Yeah. For me, it's like uh, because the name was like, okay, we need a name for strong spirit, strong mind, strong body. So yeah. Guilain come with you, and me. I'm always. I'm like almost like a, a poet. You know, in my head, I see parkour like with like arabesque and stuff like that. For me, everything is. Be water, my friend, and stuff like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Like War Chase Tag is the same. So no, it's not just this. It's like martial art, and it's the it's the uh, finest of a parkour you can yeah, ever yeah. find. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like all your skill now suddenly now. Can I use it for real? Can you catch me? Kind of stuff like that. That's how I see it. That's why I get excited. Like, oh, Bruce Lee. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so uh, yeah, I come up with R D D Plasma. I say no. It's there is a beauty with what we do. It's, mm. We're not just jumping roof. Yeah, it's it's deeper than that. So for me, it's okay. I'm gonna call it l'art du déplacement. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. French. Yeah. Has a bit more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so French, you know. Usually, you got one word for one thing. How do you say table? Le bois qui vient du monde. This is oh my gosh. <laughs> but so the thing that I, I find crazy that I uh, maybe I, I just don't know about, but within like what two years, three, I guess like two three years. Yeah, Mikazi went from like, okay, we're creating a group and we're doing yeah. this. And obviously things were picking up, mm. but then you had like a film, like oh, proper film, but you're, so there's a few things here. You're not in it, right? No. And in your talk, you, you say that you actually hadn't trained, some of the Yamakazi you never trained with, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so like, how, why why was that? Was that firefighting or? No, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I'll try to think for everyone, okay. If I think about Jan, there is an age related, okay? If like me, I'm here, Sebastian, I'm a, uh, uh, and you got David is one year older than me. Yep. David is with my brother, my other brother, David, but I've got another brother called Mark, who is, is two years older than me. Okay. Is the same age of Jan. Yep. So mm -hmm. Jan was friend with my older brother. So you, I don't know if you imagine when you were older brother, so you're not going with all. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, are yeah. the oldest. Yeah. Jan was older, so I'm not training with Jan. Yeah, and even okay. if you wanted to go with Jan, as far as I remember, uh, Frederick said, no, 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 no. It was already like, uh, there is a mysticism here. No, no, So no, they no. were like the kind of serious big boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out. Yeah. You, know, like, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> so, get out. <laughs> So I had my friend is do, doing his stuff, but along the way you grow because three years is not that much, two years is not that much because after you... When you get older, it becomes yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's strange. Like, like I'm, ten, yeah. I'm 10 years older yeah. than yeah. him. So. <laughs> and then after you're like friends and oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think about age nowadays. Yeah. Back like, then I can imagine yeah. it being such massive barriers. Yeah. Just like, yeah. 
Whoa. Yeah. You know. So that's what I did. And then, uh, yeah, I never trained with Jan because after I pick up straight with David and I dive too mu so much into David's stories. Yeah. And his dad, for me, after <laughs> when he talked to me about his dad, he can forget everyone. That was where you I were. I want all the secret. It's like, Kamehameha. For me, I need to know how to do it. Yeah. It's as simple as that. It's stupid, but for me, so this is it. I don't care. I don't care. If I can have one piece of advice and I just hold it, so yes. That was it. And... Um, and uh, it's almost like Star Wars. It all goes by per, yeah. per two. <laughs> the so, Pada one, the master and the Pada one. <laughs> so, yeah. But so, how did the film come about? Like, because it was okay. a, it was a big deal. Like, it's not, it's not like Massive. oh, little, little mini film. Like, okay, okay. So I'm gonna tell you. It's interesting because nobody, the guys, they have to tell their story. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I know the story. So basically, we did this uh, on TV. Yeah. Like, uh, start to, uh, to, and then you have phone call. Okay, you have many people. Yeah. But in this phone call, you have one person who is with Luc Plamondon. It's a comedy a musical uh, show called uh, Notre Dame de Paris. Okay, yeah, yeah. That was the first, before the movie, that was the first thing yeah. we did. So me, I separate because I wanted to teach from yeah. the beginning, you know, the master thing I want to teach. So for me, it's, oh, no, I, know, I want to teach, I want to teach philosophy. Mm -hmm. Yo, baby, wait. <laughs> so I wanted to teach, but I was really focused and I said, guys, no, no, that's not my thing. And I said, oh yeah, we keep on going. Bear in mind at this time, no one knew it was going to be any success. Yeah, yeah. Go. So they, they go. Um, so they did the Notre Dame de Paris, which was massive success in France and around the world. Like if you can type uh, Notre Dame de Paris, I can give you the. Oh, really? Wow. It went like. And Luc Plamondon, who is the person who is in charge of uh, the whole musical show, is yeah. a good friend with Luc Besson. Yeah. Luc Besson came to see the show. Wow. Luc Besson said, I need that. That's amazing. They did the movie Taxi. Yeah. They played the ninja in the movie Taxi. Yeah. And and then he said, I'm going to make a movie with you, which this movie was Yamagata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mia was working in the building as the fire safety stuff. And I just like, you, you know, you still have it. It's so like, beep, beep, doing my two hours around and stuff like that. And just like, you missed the wagon, man. <laughs> yeah. So how, how was that? Because like, I mean, I, I that. I guess we've got, we've had like, <clears throat> the only thing I can think comparable would be kind of, I don't know, like Stora have had some huge successes yeah. with sort of films and things like yeah. that, but it's not like sort of one of them opted to like step down prior to a big film or yeah, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that must have, how, how was that for you being a young that guy? Was, like, that was the best things that haven't ever happened to me. One of the best things, there's a lot of stuff happened yeah. to me. But it gives me, a, you know, like in life when you want to choose, sometimes it's very hard to make a decision. Should I go mm. to the right or go to the left, you know? And this clearly showed me like you're in the wrong place. Mm. I was very comfortable with my decision to not be part of the group. Yeah. But there is obviously something like, man, you're an artist. You have no place here. Literally no place here. And then, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I can talk because I need to keep this a little bit. Anyway, so yeah, yeah. So to answer to the question, Yes, that was a uh, very impactful because it clearly me, I clearly show like, first it's possible. From my point of view, that's what Yamakasi did uh, all together. Mm -hmm. They show, hey guys, it's possible. We can, like, you know, we got a, a, a ceiling glass. Yeah, glass yeah, they ceiling. broke, they mm. smashed it. They yeah. smashed it. Like, yeah. I was like, damn, like, I'm gonna be like, I'm doing this job and like, what? So that was the, the first thing. So it pushed me to say, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, my diploma, my certificate. I'm gonna be a teacher and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and then things kind of fell apart with the Amikaze. Yeah, that was this period where David and the others, they had their argument. Yeah. And me was like, mm -hmm. I'm, I want to have none with that. I'm yeah. far away. And that's why I start my year. Lonely journey as Master Yoda. <laughs> I'm gonna do Back my into the Yoda. woods, yeah. I'm gonna do my stuff, and then that's it, yeah. And I mean, I, I, I don't know much about why everything fell apart, and I don't know if that's something that you want to talk about with, because you you say like I, how it, it I, wasn't I, about money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I will exp like for me, people will understand. It's all about a group of guys who had nothing. And now they've got the, an opportunity in front of them, which you don't know how far it's gonna be, but obviously there is something, okay? Yeah. And there is also uh, uh, non-recognition from me. Like, I, like there is something, the whole idea is the pain of not give it to someone. Like let's say we were a group, well, I did this, I did this, and I never talk about you, but you in your head, even you, maybe you don't do big stuff, but, hey, I did something, you know? Mm -hmm. Come on, you can just, 
And that's for me, it's just like, that's what hurts. Yeah. It hurts because people say, yeah, but okay, man, uh, okay. I did something. Mm -hmm. And that's where for me, I still, I say, everyone did something mm -hmm. in my opinion. And if people keep holding this, and I know it's keep holding it, we will never go back. We're yeah. never, we're never attached. Yeah, because you said wow. that no one, they still won't go back together yeah, yeah, because of that. Yeah, yeah. They then, still have those yeah. same feelings. Oh yeah. 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 It is tough because I, I, even now, like, I mean, I can think of so many athletes who, they've given so much, even myself, I've given so much to the sport that like, I, I, I instead of one thing that is always in my head is I want to be 60, 70 and, and sort of just feel like I've definitely made an impact. I don't want to get to that see, age. See. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's human. It's now because also I'm very into uh, psychological how we affect us, how we make our decision in life. I know that. That's why I try to help. It's something, man. You need to get this right because if you want, you can't be better than what you think. I always think about the the caterpillar and the butterfly. We definitely butterfly. That's why the story of Parkour is not so much about the jump. It's because we had a dream inside us, like man, I can be, I can fly. Mm -hmm. And then the whole idea is like, can I really fly? That's one when you do all this teeny tiny jump and say, oh, I don't know if I can do it. And then when you do it, say, that was easy. Why did I do that? All this stuff is this narration and something like that is the true teaching of what parkour is about. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. you see? That's why I say it's like wooden dummy. Yeah. And when you practice, you practice, practice, practice until you have it. And then you don't have to do massive jump. Say, I have it now. Now I got it. But it's almost a certificate. Did you do your certain amount of jump? Yeah, I did. But now after, like we can talk about this, uh, it's like more about preserving your body, but did you get the lesson? Yes, I get the lesson. Now show me your life, how you how you manage your life. Then we see if you really understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and that's, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Amazing. I love that, I love yeah. that. Um, it's so true. It does teach you a lot. Yeah. You know? So this is at that point when then David decided to name Parkour with a K, right? Yeah, that was yeah. the big split. That was the split, like, um, like I say, they had the argument for whatever reason. Don't care. Yeah. Um, and that's where f fact, history, you can see David, P-A-R-K-O-U-R. Yeah. The guy said, we stay stick with R du déplacement. That's why I come with a name, but what is in it, the content and everything is to them because it's their story. That's where, you know, in the book, Julie's book, that's where everything starts, where they train together, when they're born together, they have this symbol, you know, when they yeah, 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 yeah. That's very powerful. This is their stuff. This is their story. That's bad, none with it. So you <coughs> sort of, uh, sort of introduced Le, 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 like I'm so Le bad. Name, yeah, it's okay. You introduced L'Art de, de Placement, yeah. L'Art de Placement. But obviously you, you were very much more sort of following David's ideals and things. When he introduced parkour with a K, were you? I was not with David yet. At that point, no, yeah. but but when he introduced it, kind of what was your, were you still on the last placement or? Oh, I was parkour, P-A-R-C-O-U-R. Yeah, okay, so mm. you, yeah, 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 yeah. So for me, I did my stuff. I had my own journey with all the stuff. So I said, I know the cousin, I know everyone, yeah. I know all the stuff. So there is all this journey when I want to teach and I struggle because man, if you don't have something to push you, nobody say, who are you? <laughs> what, do, what do you want? So that was this. David did P A R K U R the same pair of the guys did uh, R du déplacement and me I was just like uh, that's why I remember no one care about me mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm not blaming it's like literally people say yeah it's one of the in the ten years time it's one of those guys just uh, but I still have my uh, my my vision so for me I was there and David contacted me because I was still friend with David yeah and we did this event in Germany that was the, that was the click moment for me that's uh. where I met Jerome. That's why I bring Jerome because Jerome is important. Yeah. Because Jerome can say to you, yeah, we went listen. There is this guy and seems to know David very well. David talked uh, highly about him, but it's not with us. Yeah. Like uh, Stefan, we're all training, but it's not with us. What is he doing? Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm a, <laughs> I was, a, I was in my, uh, in my thing. But also it's because my parents told me, yeah, you need to have a diploma. You need to find a secure job. Yeah. And I need to fight that. I need to find that. I need to do it. I need to go there and then come back. And, Nah. No, yeah. You see, and that's that's where in the click moment, same period when a choice, David contacted me, we do this event, we need you. Uh, we did this event, we need you. And then I did this and I realized my skills, like I can organize and say, okay, this is the team we need to be at. That's it. I'm very, I, I'm good at this. I can't do that. You yeah. see that, mm -hmm. okay, let's do this. No, you go there. And I like it and we get paid very well. That's also very important because of money, 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 but we get paid very this well. This is another thing mm -hmm. I have okay. because in your talk you say like, up until this point, and I guess Yamakazi was probably one of the, like a, a moment of that. But before that point, 
you guys had no reason to train apart from up here. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you, None. It's not like you're opening Instagram and you're like, that looks fun. And then you get good at it and you're like, I could earn money from this. Like you no. had mm-hmm. nothing, no, no. no Still, commercial jobs. That was our weakness also. That was our strength and our weakness. Yeah. Uh, for me, my personal journey started, uh, the click moment was Urban Free Flow. Yeah. See? So, but up to this day, the whole philosophy for me, it's like, we don't do it for money. Mm. And still this day, I don't do it for money. I'm a, I'm a passionate, an artist, you know, an artist, like yeah. Van Gogh, mm. yeah, <laughs> Van yeah, Gogh yeah. just died and no one care about it. <laughs> he, he thought no one care about his painting and now his painting is like, yeah. but that's the mindset. That's probably one of the weakness we had in France. Culturally speaking, money is bad. Mm-hmm. It's like, mm, uh, uh. and uh, that's why I mentioned uh, this urban free flow kind of mindset, because when you arrived, it completely, it was completely different. The business came approach. in, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's yeah. like, oh. But because me, I'm observe and I watch and I've been invited by them. And I always like, there is two sides. Like, it's like, observe, don't take everything. Oh, it's bad, it's, no, there is, there is something is different here. Yeah. And I took it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I took it. I said, oh, I'm not that good. <laughs> it's, it's training. It's like take what is useful, reject what is useless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's my master told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sp- well, th- uh, there's a question I want to get in. Yeah. that actually once again came from Max before we sort of go any further. But the word Tracer obviously was yeah. Team Tracer and it was, or Le- Les Tracers? Les Tracers. Yeah. Le- Les Tracers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did that, who came up with that? Where did that sort of come from? That's the story with David. Yeah, uh, okay. Jer- uh, Jerome can explain that. Stefan can explain very well because I wasn't there when they did this. Ah, when okay. they did this, they were already fully into that. I was just complimentary to say, we need someone to, <laughs> get everyone because they were quite young. So we need someone to have a, uh, the vision. David doesn't have the things to, he, is a, he can say, okay, come on determination, but he doesn't have the, the thinking about, okay, you're gonna, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did. And I was a good addition also in terms of, uh, yeah, terms yeah. Of looking and I've got the experience of a show because I did the, the firefighter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's it. And, and uh, so, yeah. I mean, it's funny because for years we had the parkour free running debate and blah, 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 blah. We'll, we'll go on to that, we'll go on to that. But now there's this new kind of debate coming back of, and we've been guilty about talking about it, Yeah, is, is Tracer, free runner, parkourist. Oh oh, yeah, yeah. And obviously, I mean, you've, you've said in, in, somebody asked the question, it's a name and it's, yeah. and it technically mm-hmm. doesn't matter and it, it doesn't, at the same time, I know, I mean, from our kind of English perspective on the street, if somebody says like, oh, yeah, are you a parkourer? And we say, no, we're a tracer. People are like, what? <laughs> and I like, what's... How do you call it? I I don't, I think I just say like, I, I definitely say parkour athlete too much. And there's a big debate about that. Mm. I don't mind the word parkourist. It sounds like, I've spoken to Callum about this because Callum I know is is keen to sort of push for it. And it sounds foreign because it's n- kind of new, yeah. but it makes the most sense in the sense of like skateboarder, rollerblader, BMXer, mm-hmm. parkourist. It's like we do parkour. And cause I don't like, like personally, I don't like free runner. It sounds a bit too like, woo. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't. And then, and, and Tracer, I just, it's too hard. Like if I'm out on the street and some rat, oh, what are you doing? what do you call it? And you're like Tracer. It's like, why? <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's not like, Tracer. and it's because it was the first team. It wasn't like. No, but also Tracer is definitely, uh, it's an, people need to understand that it's like foundation. It's an attempt to do something. Mm. Free running is an attempt to do something. People have to jump on it and hold it. Oh, I'm part of the free running group. No, we are Paco, we are the pure. For me, it's like, it's still an attempt. Just look at the age. <laughs> what age we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. not 30, we're like kids are trying to do stuff. Yeah. It's like a drawing, look, my drawing is, t- it's like, what is that? So trust her, for me, is a story of the past, mm. to be honest. After, if some people keep holding it, it's none of my business. Free Runner, same, for me, it's the story of the past. I'm still like to be known as the founder of Free Running, yeah. even there is a lot of stuff I can completely smash it. It's like Free Running <laughs> now is not about corkscrew, gainer, stuff like that. I can do gainers, I can do backflip, but I rarely does them. I was like, man. So like, it's like, but it's the founder. Yeah, but 
uh, you see what I mean? Yeah. Parkour, the story, there is a lot of kind of like, it's fine, very hard for you guys like to explain. You love your heart, say, yeah, but the story is completely over the place. So I tried to explain my thing, but now I don't know how we call, where it start, stuff like that. So I would say for me, it's just like, uh, parkour sounds good. Mm. But usually people say, what do you do? Say, I do parkour. Yeah, because yeah. that's, that's the like easiest that's way to say it. I'm I do, do oh, parkour. I'm doing parkour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they say, what is that parkour? And then they say, oh, nothing, <laughs> <lame."> <laughs> it's, uh, But this is, I do parkour for me is, is, the, mm -hmm. is the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so talking about opportunity, like lack of opportunity in things, mm -hmm. 2002, mm -hmm. you're in a night commercial for, for Prestos. Oh yeah. Which is one of the best commercials because you're chased by a fucking chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which we rewatched it the other they, night. They definitely so couldn't do that anymore because they're definitely just lobbing the chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I, there, every, was, there were several chickens. So okay, <laughs> the guy take care of it, but it was like, <laughs> okay, now he's upset. Now let's get the other one. It's okay. Every shot is just <laughs> boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but how you you'd obviously gone off on your own yoda journey like why you why not yamakazi how did that come oh, about no, no. first of all at this time there is the big uh thing with yamakazi yeah so yeah. this group the tracer and yamakazi they were the most successful more successful than the tracer yeah so it was kind of most like we didn't do it for uh like uh, we better than you but it was like that because mm. the people say we we are the one where the yamakazi and then you are who are you you're the young kids uh, um, uh, lead, led by David and Seb with the follower, like yeah. how say, the kind of stuff like that. And then, um, how did it happen? Did I have my website at this time? Because Nike is not small. Like, yeah. that must have been a big deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Because my... I had my website. Uh, okay. In my head, I was thinking, like, you need to, we need to be rich. You need to finish. Yeah, on. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had parkour.com. There, ah, we go. there we go. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was the owner of parkour.com. Yeah. I gave it to David, which is gave it to uh, Adam Dunlop. Yeah. For the story for everyone need to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've only heard about that story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, but I was the owner of parkour.com because I said, you know what? No one really thought about this. I was, because no. with my logo, I knew, like, I knew so much about uh, intellectual property. Or, when you draw, you know that. So yeah. I knew. And I parkour.com said, so I keep it. And I had it for a long time. So I said, I'm going to do a website. So I did the website called parkour.com. That's where they contact me. Yeah. And I say, guys, we got an opportunity with Nike. So we did this opportunity with Nike where there is the idea of doing three shots. And at this time, some of them decided, oh, I go to Thailand. I'm going to go to Thailand. They went to Thailand. Yeah. And that was, Nike for me is a, is a very, very important point because that was the birth of me believing in myself. Mm -hmm. Before that, I was, it was true, I was a follower. I yeah. was just, I was happy to be behind. As I say, friend. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be in front, I'm with my friend. We're the coolest guys around, like, you know what I mean? But there, I realized, I, I think what shocked me is literally, you know, you had an idea of yourself. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I watched a video, I don't recognize myself. So, oh my God, that's, like, without being too much, this is how good I am. Yeah. So big jumps in that. Yeah. It's a like, good, it, it, yeah. I love it. It's we, such a good video. Because we were saying like now, nowadays, I don't, I don't think something like that could be made in a way that still looks good. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it could, it could look like gimmicky or like yeah. it could just look lame, but it, it oh, just looks, you. it just looks so cool. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's yeah. the genuine. And it's funny at the same yeah. time. You're like, this is, this is brilliant. And it's an advert. Like it's not, yeah. it's not just a short film. It's, yeah. 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 That was the beginning for me to realize who I am but also the beginning when I split with David. Mm. That's where I split. Was that because you got the job or? Because uh, story-wise, David did uh, uh, his own uh, rep reportage, uh, TV interview, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, like it was uh, Channel One, and he did another one with uh, Channel Two, start the, another one. Yeah, okay. And in this one, he, was, he portrayed a story which was not fair for me. It's, it's, it's the same thing, how he hurts you. I don't ask to be the leader, but please, Say at least I was next to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you watch this documentary, I'm not. I'm not even near. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know the one you're talking about. Yeah. That hurts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that hurts. Now I've I passed this because I've been uh, with David. We make the bridge and there's yeah. a lot of. But it took years and years to get back to that. So for me, that hurts me. But this also reveals to me like, man, I've got potential. No one told me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you're hey, man, you're good in parkour. Now you've got a lot of encouragement. Yeah. At this time, man, it was like. <laughs> you didn't have it. Yeah. No, you've got no. But mm -hmm. I watch and I was like. Like literally, I remember so clearly. That's where I say, okay, 
now you need to to do your journey you need to and jerome also was here because i helped jerome a lot and jerome was saying this to me i said come on man you know we always try to be but then he clicked yeah at this time i said okay bye bye see ya guys you became the master you did your journey uh, and you became i become no, you started I, on the path. not the master i embark into a journey when i was confident to be myself yeah and also i was ready to be uh, the target mm. mm-hmm. the thought, you know, that kind of face yeah because when you're behind it's okay you yeah know, it's, it's, uh, but now i accept everything yeah. from my friends for everyone from the enemy so yeah it's not good and i was very comfortable with that so, amazing you know, like that's where that's yeah did that get a lot of like a uh, tv exposure and things uh straight after that mm. i mean uh, the advert was it shown a lot like oh yeah 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 yes yes yeah it was very it cool. was good it was very good i would really enjoy yeah was that was that a very quick kind of after that um advert came out did that branch off to other work and no. other things? It didn't. No, 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 no. no. Wow. S- surprisingly, because that's yeah, what surprising. Oh, yeah. 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 No. <laughs> but did uh, that was two thousand and two. So <coughs> two thousand and three was obviously Jump London. So it did that. I think you said it was the Trans World documentary led to yes, Trans World Sport. Yeah, yeah, definitely led to Jump London. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was on on plane everywhere. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw you. So, oh, you and so was that Mike me? who was it? Mike who reached out or? Who? Mike for, for John, John London, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's Mike. Yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah, so yeah, we don't want. We're not interested in particularly about risky big jump, but we want to talk about the philosophy. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> ding! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big time, like <laughs> yeah, like philosophy. And then I was, I can talk for hours about the KK, Oh yeah, about this, and then you know, talking about the society, like Matrix and all this stuff. I was like, yeah, because when we do this, is this is, a, like I was like. Like uh, I don't smoke, but people said maybe this guy smoked too much. You know, kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? This is me. I love it so much. For me, it's like uh, respect our art. You know, this mm-hmm. is something. It's more than just we jump, man. It's like it's a revolution. If we do it correctly, it's a revolution. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Were you happy with um, like Jump London's portrayal of parkour and that project as a whole? Because I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, the actually, impact obviously yeah, was was the impact was huge. Yeah. That's where my love for UK started. Yeah. Like, literally, I say, you know what? France, I try a lot. I love my country. But man, the way they embrace it, I'm gone. What year did you move, actually? Hmm? What year did you move to the UK? I moved in 2011. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we've got enough time to talk about this because this is my whole journey, but it's, it's uh, as I said, it's my, it's yeah, my yeah, time. But yeah. so, um, the, well, I have one question. So in, in Jump London, I mean, yeah. obviously, I'm assuming there was a lot of prep and things, but you brought on board... Um, it was Jerome? Jerome, and Stefan, and uh, Johan. Johan, yeah. yeah. So what was the decision to bring on those guys? Because you were kind of the face of it, but obviously you had the, your, your boys. Yeah, with you. oh my God, that's that's a that's a journey also. There was a lot of clash also here. Yeah, because I can imagine it's like, it's not a small deal, Channel 4 and things. Because so. obviously I was the, the one who's got the most knowledge, but I wasn't necessarily the, I would say the parkour was the most skill and talented because my knowledge was uh my understanding of everything was not as refined even like i did uh, for nike i did the reiki i choose what i'm gonna do and i was uh, clever enough clever enough to be able to put in a commercial the stuff i'm the best yeah like mm-hmm. uh, like i'm i'm my best not yeah. the best i'm my mm-hmm. best which is running uh, I was like jumping like from height and do a nice roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy bread and butter. Uh, Tic tac, easy, saut de bras. And yeah. I knew like you don't need to do too many things. If you do two, like, like really good. And I, I had all the idea. Say, oh, I can't do just a, a, a saut de bras. We need something. Okay, bring a car it's coming when I do yeah, this. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Whoa. And mm-hmm. then I said, oh, I'm going to do tic tac in the house. Could you, do, uh, how about you have kids here? Oh, okay, fuck the fucking, I forgot it's that. It's sick. What, when you go on the sofa and you come around? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I was all this idea. Well. This all my idea. That's why I realized later, Seb, you've got more than just jumping. Yeah. So, got, you, so you technically, you directed, would you yeah. say? But that's, planned. that's Link. Now I know it's because I'm drawing, because mm-hmm. I'm a painter. So I've got this visual, you know, all this stuff. It's in my head Yeah, already. your storyboard, like. So yeah, so yeah. when I come to a place, I can literally, people say, oh, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Okay, okay. Every time, I don't know if you remember, so each time we go to some place in Jump London, I say, choose your place, guys. And they were choosing, so they feel like it's fair. They all choose, ah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do 360, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And me, I look the camera, I was there. So, 
okay, I got my stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna do just that. Mm-hmm. And I let them choose. So they choose and me, I do boom. And then say, in the camera, you see, but I work very, yes, you work very hard, but this is what the camera is saying. So that's how I did all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. HMS Belfast, the jump, all this stuff. Even like they put the crash mat and stuff like that, but I did, I did jump like that so many times. So I said, okay. And I, I look at the camera and say, that's epic. Yeah. You know, that's, that's epic, that's epic, that's epic. But technically speaking, Stefan, uh, Stefan was better than me at some point. Uh, Johan was better than me. I can clearly see people better than me, in a, but I've got a better understanding of my abilities and how I can put it on camera. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So go back to, you say you asked me about Jump London. I guess, I mean, that, that I was just yeah, asking was why, good, why yeah. you took those guys on, but like- um, But they were the, they were the, the most reliable. Yeah. Uh, especially you don't have so many opportunities, so you don't want to have anyone messing around. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. like, no more. So I, I went with the person I, I can rely the most. How, um, how long was the filming for Jump London? Oh, you need to ask Mike. Yeah, um, no, we need no. to get Mike on actually. Probably, I was, probably a few weeks. Oh, yeah. it's been so long. My God, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I I was talking to Mike the other day actually. I was meant to go and have a meeting with him, but we uh, yeah yeah got busy. But um, so t- I mean, Jump London obviously was. I mean, for me that was the start. Like, for me too. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then it felt Another. it's strange because in my head like it felt like the gap between Jump London and Jump Britain wasn't that long, but so much happened. Because yeah, it was, right. I mean, it's 2003, 2005, yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. two years, but it yeah. felt like the UK scene obviously had just started before Jump London. Yeah. Small urban free flow guys, yeah, yeah, like some yeah. small stuff. Um, but I I would go up to London, like that, yeah. that station that you, yeah. we met you at, yeah, 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 yeah. every single Saturday, my parents would take me there. And at yeah. the start, my dad would come with me because I was young. Yeah. And then afterwards I would go there every single Saturday up to London. Um, and I would train with like a small group of guys and then Jump Britain, I remember Jump Britain getting filmed and reading about it on the Urban Free Flow forums. <laughs> yeah. And they did like a- no, They were so advanced, my God. Yeah. <laughs> but we needed, they needed um, extras for the final scene running along the South Bank. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I submitted, but I was too young because I was 15. Oh no. So I like, I submitted and I got confirmation and then whoever was dealing with it was like, oh, sorry, you're not old enough. And I couldn't go. But then, uh, yeah, then it came out, came to the premiere, met you. Got the. Uh, I think I think we met before actually yeah. in in London, but um, but yeah, and then that I've always said the way I describe it to people is like, jump London was like a pebble in the pond, like yeah. a little ripple, yeah. mm-hmm. and then oh, jump Br- one, jump yeah. Britain was like, boop, boop, boop. especially at the end when you see everyone all around the world, yeah, like, boop. yeah, and then because yeah. it's it, ah, it's just insane. We need to sit down and rewatch it yeah. because I, when I watched it, I was so young. I mean, this came out when when did it release? Jump Britain two thousand five. Two thousand five. Yeah. I would have been five. I, would, I don't even know what parkour would have been. It's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but to go back to Jump London, and we may as well dive into yeah. this now, free running. <laughs> so in, the thing I love in your talk on Instagram is you yeah. go, uh, this is where I name free running, big mistake. <laughs> oh yeah, my God. What, it, why now are you kind of feeling this way? Like what's the main reason for this? Is it- What's the main reason for what? Just feeling kind of less uh, like a, because it's it's a mistake because uh, we like debate. Mm. If you go in martial arts, uh, yoga, whatever, pff, there is many ways, many things. Yeah, my is better. Da, da. So it's in our DNA. Mm-hmm. So you have already two things. You've got art de déplacement and parkour. Yep. And one guy say, <laughs> can I add one more? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck on that. Uh, art de déplacement was not really pushed at this time. No. However, when I bring free running, it's always, oh, Okay, what is running? What is parkour? Even still this day, what is different? If I haven't done that, I just practice for my, myself and doing my thing because it didn't add anything. Yeah. I could even do jump. Load. It's just me with my respect and my stuff with martial arts and stuff. I say, okay, David, you do your thing. You know, I will do something because I, that's why I show in the stuff. Like when Bruce Lee in his book, he says like, it's just a name. Uh, mm-hmm. Let the name be wiped out for that is what it is. It's just a name. Please don't fuss over it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. I, I listen. I listen literally. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. uh, Guillaume uh, Pelletier was. He said, like, "Oh yeah, yeah, free running because he's speaking English. He had a company, so he's speaking English." So like, yeah, and internationally, and my brain. Yeah. So okay. So <laughs> you, the name basically because in Jump London it's referred to as like free running, like by yeah. the commentator, by yeah, everything. Yeah. But you can see me say parkour sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes I say parkour for a free running. <laughs> but so was that like in the in the build up to Jump London, were you having conversations about like, okay, are we gonna make this international? Are we gonna try and make it more? We'd, I didn't even 
talk to them. I say, this is how I'm going to call it. Yeah, okay. Like I literally take the decision. Okay, now it's going to take your time, but I'm going to call it free running, free running, free running, free running, free yeah, running. Yeah, free yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, I, di- I did that, but I learned. I learned the, los- the lesson along the way. It's the same with the name. When I start to do, okay, tic tac, pre- pre- this is the precision. Oh, that's channel. the, yeah. This is, a, okay, this is, that's pass muraille. Okay, we go, pass muraille. Okay, because I need to understand what we do, like so, how many, how many uh, technique there is to understand better what I was doing. And then I realized that's another mistake. <laughs> they will have more names. And then after people is going to become so many names, going to be like, like in uh, skateboarding, mm. see skateboarding, they got a lot of name for stuff, and I, and I, op- I observe from other disciplines. Say, don't do that. That's not the. Oh no, don't do that. It's a good point actually. So when in the sort of from the late eighties to yeah. sort of early two thousands, when did you really start to like create the the dictionary and who, who was contributing? Because obviously this, you guys were refining vaults and yeah. movements and and things. Um, and there's the literal. French translations, and then oh, I mean, there's all the butchering that Urban Freeflow yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. But the, at the start, who was were you sitting around and and being like, oh, we should? One day, I literally say, okay, because I wrote, as I say, I wrote everything. So for yeah, day I say, okay, how many stuff there is, a li- with an alignment with George Ebert method because they've got like the ten items. So I say, okay, we've got our stuff too. Yeah, because Bruce Lee also did it. So let's do it too so i was just like okay we got this one we got that one so i start to put this and then we got all the technique and stuff like that but me i put uh, like for example so the chat yeah because of the cat and uh, stefan was doing a lot of cat i think stefan is really the one who just put the the cat pass yeah mm-hmm. uh, again i'm sure someone's no nah, i was here before whatever <laughs> from what <laughs> i've seen okay uh, david's got the power to jump over something like take off yeah and Stefan, because he didn't have the power in his leg, he was doing cat pass, cat pass, cat pass. Mm-hmm. It, it was his, almost a trademark, like literally. And uh, and me, I just put the name. So, okay, that's a new one. Oh, that's cool. It's good. Okay. So, de chat. Passement de chat. I l'appelle passement de chat. And uh, that's it. Refer, refer to cat. I would almost call everything cat with cat if it was me. I'm glad <laughs> yeah, you say this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, literally, like Kong. I was, oh. Yeah, no. Because no. I came no. into I, I I remember this period because and uh, oh. Scott Bass did quite a good video about it years ago mm. about how like in the early days, urban free flow obviously no one knew we just saw jump London and shit and and just started like oh Kong King Kong oh my God. your favorite thief vault oh yeah you know that. <laughs> like, oh my this one is or like, lazy oh yeah 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 God, and then and then no way. It, anyway. it felt like yeah over the next couple of years after jam london these like these on the forums these names would trickle through and i try i like i really like cat pass and arm jump yeah and things like this but then it's so easy you're around people mm. where you go to america and you well i i, your did, language I didn't even know that there was cat pass or arm jump i yeah. just grew up calling it yeah. a kong and a cat leap because of what i've seen yeah and it was only until i h- hung out with him he was saying cat pass and yeah. I'm like, oh. it's the way it's spread yeah. also I, for me I understand because it's the way it's spread and also when you start to understand there is a lot of argue mm. if you have like one founder everything is okay you yeah. can follow but it's like oh yeah but this guy don't talk you're just like I just want to but it's not that it's not that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. give me a name and I just do because the name is just to explain what we do yeah, yeah. It's, it just helps translate right. like that's mm. all it is yeah. isn't it what like, did you do yesterday oh I did the massive Kong okay I understand what you mm-hmm. do it's not like yeah. Yeah, but it's not really Kong. Who cares? So I did this jump. I did that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. I, Kong, okay. I swallow the pills. It's a thief. I don't like the connotation. Yeah. Because if there is one thing people can see in a negative way. You must be good at running away from the police. There we go. Yeah. Uh, for me, so come on, guys. W- let's not give one one stuff to help them to, to do this. We're not that. We're better than that. Yeah. yeah but anyway, yeah. I can't do anything. Like I say, for me, it's, it's not in my hands now. There is different culture, different generation. Mm. That's why on my Instagram, I put a dinosaur not so long ago. Because for me, this is it. I'm a dinosaur. I'm happy with that. It's Now it's your generation, like your generation to push it and to make it what it's going to be. Of course, not one person can push it because mm. now you're going to be a target. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Again, it's, it's, it's history again, yeah. but together you can bring it. This is what we stand for. Same with all the stuff with Fig and all this stuff is what do we stand for? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Um, we've, with, uh, with, there's stuff to go on to regarding yeah. that, I think, but like if we carry on in the, the chronological yeah, I love thing. Chronological. So like Jump Britain obviously was once again massive. Yeah. And I'm, am I right in thinking that was kind of like the phone started ringing, like Madonna and Casino Royale 
yeah. that for you, because you say in your, <laughs> yeah, you say in your thing, that was like your, your physical peak and also like commercial peak. The and biggest. Everything. The yeah. The biggest ever, like, it's like, you start to say, okay, yeah, I can believe in myself. Yeah, but fasten your symbol because you have no idea what you're saying for. It's like, you know, like, oh yeah, now, see ya guys. And mm -hmm. Yeah. That was this, yes, 2006 was like. Just chaos. Crazy. Yeah. It's like crazy. In in both ways. Like I, I'm a strong believer with yin yang in both ways. It's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> as high as it is good, you're gonna have to come down, the, yeah. yeah. You will mm -hmm. have, life will bring you back. So the, the question, I mean, that we could talk for hours about yeah, the yeah, scene yeah, Royale, yeah, but obviously yeah. that's sort of yeah. old news, so to speak. But I, I guess the question I have is like, was it as big for you sort of just was it yeah how how impactful uh, in the moment i'm sure it was massive and i still meet people who were like it's like oh you, you meet somebody on the street and they're like oh yeah that that guy from uh, from james bond started it right that french guy like blah blah blah, blah. started it yeah yeah but so i feel like a lot of the kind of the muggle audience yeah still really really remember and appreciate that scene but in terms of like you had that huge up but how impactful yeah. for that was 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 that for you as it kind of on the come down, like. What do you mean? Sorry. Well, I just mean like it's a, it's a, James Bond is one of the biggest films in the in yeah. the world. It's yeah. also probably one of the best James Bonds ever. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't like James Bond, so yeah. that's saying mm -hmm. something. But the just f impactfully, I guess, just for your career and things. I like, didn't realize it. Yeah. Like naively speaking, I didn't realize the, the power, the impact of a, a James Bond movie, first of all, mm. in terms of legendary, how it is, mm -hmm. and an international movie. Because Yamakasi helped me to believe, look, man, it's possible. Like, it's not only uh, uh, reserved to uh, certain people, so you can also reach it first. Then you have to do a journey. David did District 13. Yeah, District Thirteen has a huge impact for the commu community. Almost say, the community, mm -hmm. you know, like the community was growing. Yeah, bigger than Yamakasi. Yeah, because like literally was like uh, finally we've got a flag like say, yeah District Thirteen kind of stuff like mm, you know very strong. But at the end of the day, it was a French film. Yeah, which, uh, yeah. yeah. and you touching only the purest. Yeah, it's like yeah, only mm -hmm. purest. Have you heard? Uh, yeah, I remember James like I'd show my friends like District 30. Yeah. Be like, yeah. See, 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 see. <laughs> yeah. Now you're cool. If you yeah. do that, you're cool. Yeah. James Bond touched the mainstream. It touched, yeah, it touched everyone. everyone. Like, it touched mm -hmm. everyone. Yeah. And, uh, and it's also, probably yeah. one of the first and only, like, not only, but at, before that point, cinema representations of parkour were, as you said, Yamakazi, yeah, District 13, yeah. and some, some stunts that could reflect. And I guess you've got. Jackie Chan and things, yeah. but so yeah, for the world, that was like, yeah. that was almost them watching, like it, it was the equivalent of me watching Jump London for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, whoa. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I didn't realize it. Yeah. I stay stick to my thing, um, like I say, my brain, you need, if it's the last one, last legacy, you need to put everything. So you need to look like a cat. Okay, you need to look like, acting wise, yeah, okay. Cat pass, I need to do a long one as well. Okay, I need, put the table, what are you gonna do? Yeah, put the table and stuff like that. But not just the table, I need someone. How about if someone, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. See, you will see the pattern of my always stuff. I do a movie. Oh, did you kind of like the same way as um, with the commercial, the yeah, advert? Exactly. Yeah. Use the your same. mind in that Even one. still this day, it's always the same. I yeah. look, for me, it's like, I come, see, and I always talk with the director, say, oh, what are you trying to film? Is that a serious movie or is that, is that a com like, Comedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it's serious, okay, you will not see me any front flip, back flip, like forget yeah. it. Yeah. Forget it. Okay. Even I did it in a tournament where the car is driving back and I do a back flip and I got my gun. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That was the only one I said, okay, all right, let's put it one back mm -hmm. flip. However, I try if it's serious, it's serious. Yeah. I'm, I'm a killer, I'm not doing anything mm -hmm. like that. So and then after I say, Where's the camera? First my first thing is where's the camera? And then I look. And then I start to think, which technique? And now we don't have so many techniques to really, which one? The fancy one, tiki tiki tiki, it's like, mm, okay. But the what we've got is the impactful, like the boom, like the, mm -hmm. that's why like a massive plyo, you know, bouncing, yeah, 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 bouncing. Yeah, yeah. People, everyone can feel it. Even if you've never done it, when you see a monkey and stuff like that, you react to that. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you say, and I know that. Yeah, I say, yeah. cheetah, cheetah, you know? 
Mm-hmm. Like, that's all I need to do in the movie. I love the um. I can't. I haven't watched it in ages, but there's a bit where I don't know if you go through something quite oh, thin, my God. and then yeah, yeah. But Bond David goes did just it through the wall. Thirteen. Yeah. So that was the uh, stunt coordinator wanted to do that for me. So, oh, <laughs> really, you're like, yeah. that's not really great. <laughs> and I'm glad there is Bond behind because it just changed a little bit the narrative. Yeah, and I think yeah. what's nice about that scene as well is that. It, it, I guess also it's probably one of the first appearances where Bond is or like the Bond or the main character is shown versus parkour. Yeah. Because yeah. normally it's like, oh, like in a lot of like films nowadays, the parkour athletes are just like, you know, criminals running away yeah. or, or some like, un- in, like uh, unneeded stunts. Yeah. Whereas this was like, you were just better than him. And they have that kind of yeah. like slight yeah. comedic thing of Bond, yeah. like just not being as good. Yeah. Like the, his it's crane really jump and he's just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, the, for me, when I do stuff, that's why I, I get confused a little bit because it's so much. I thought I'm going to be an actor. I thought I'm going to be like my mentor, Bruce Lee. Mm-hmm. But that was not my past. I really thought, like, because they were, oh, I was here we go. Did you try and pursue Fine. that afterwards, like for a yeah, bit? Yeah, because I really thought mm-hmm. it was me. I'm ne- Neo. <laughs> I'm, the, <laughs> I'm the one. So that's why I did this. But just to talk about the, the performance, I think for people to help. What happened now in a movie with parkour, people try to put too much. It's like you've got a l- large vocabulary of techniques. I'm going to put everything. Yeah. Which for me is the opposite. My mm-hmm. way of thinking is like, less is better because it, I get this from my drawing and stuff like that. It's like, it has to be suggested. It's like, mm-hmm. And then you've got something emotionally. And for me, it's less is better. So I didn't put too much, too much, too much. It's like, no, 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 just a teeny tiny bit, but it has to be impactful. Mm-hmm. And now, as I say, with the movie, you see sometimes like, yeah, it's good, but they put too much, so you don't. Yeah, even well, it doesn't feel real. It's like you're running yeah, away no. and doing a cork. Yeah. I know. It's like it. Yeah, it it pulls you back out. It's from a film yeah. perspective. Yeah. It pulls you back out. I'm yeah. just going for a win. Yeah, it's there cool. Yeah, it pulls you back yeah. out, and then you're suddenly like, oh, yeah. well, you know. Are we keep on going? Or yeah, 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 we can keep yeah. going. But yeah, for that, like, it felt the film was just so real. Yeah. Like that you could yeah. be that character yeah. running away. Yeah, and artistically speaking, it's very important because for me, it's like uh, the first time you see Michael Jackson doing moonwalk, mm. he didn't create the moonwalk, mm-hmm. but he put it in the right moment at the right time with yeah. a surprise. So it still stay forever. Mm-hmm. And I was very conscious as an artist, I'm very conscious of that. So for me, it's like, if I do it, you do it, everyone can do moonwalk, so yeah, we've seen it. So did you, did you think before it was shot, the, uh, the film, did yeah. you know, do you think this could be big like this? This, like, I've got to be a bit careful with what I with show. What, with what? Like, with, what, with how I, like, I've got to put everything in this because everyone's mm. going to see it. It's kind of I, I was caref- I was very conscious about the legacy. Yeah, I knew it was going to be print is going to stay. Mm. So I said, what do I want? Like, like meditation. What do I want to leave that later say, I'm proud of that. Mm. Like, this is it. Without being too cheesy and stuff like that. That's how I had this. And the other bit is I realized it when uh, the second unit director, which is, um, uh, sorry. Um, uh, oh, I can't believe I forgot. Um, it's all right. Oh, I hate it. I hate, I forgot. Uh, I know I deserve to, oh man. It will come, it will come back. Alexander White. You <laughs> You do have room for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alexander White, very important because yeah. honestly, uh, uh, Marvin Campbell is the first unit director, mm-hmm. but Alexander White is the one who filmed the sequence. Yeah. While they were filming with Bond, I was with. The thing is, uh, he showed me the video with what we filmed. I knew it straight away. Really? Yeah. Exactly like Nike. Mm-hmm. When I look at it, okay, it's got it. Yeah. Because I needed yeah. to be with him to the side to show him how I move because you probably saw YouTube stuff like that so and you get influenced. I want that. For me said no 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 no. I'm very particular. I've got a way of doing mm-hmm. things. Yeah, yeah. You need to capture that. And I say I need track shot because I'm a runner. Mm-hmm. Free runner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a runner. So for me I needed I need this. So yeah. we did a lot of tr- tests with cars and stuff like that. But you start to understand like really with the camera. Once you get the person, you get the feeling. And that's why I believe also the, the sequence is like that because he knew me. Mm. I think that's what a lot of things are missing nowadays. Any any adverts that or films that pop up and you go, oh, like it looks cheesy or something. Yeah. I think it's because they're not working closely with the athlete yeah. or the athlete doesn't feel like they can take on the role to go. Cause I think a lot of people who do parkour know what will look yeah. good. 
but sometimes like you've, they, sometimes you've done commercial jobs where you just get told to do stuff exactly right? and and also it's yeah. like lazy like i can just go ah, i'll just do this because they'll like it if yeah. i do a backflip exit yeah yeah because everyone it, goes wow yeah, but it, it doesn't it, yeah, fit. Yeah, yeah yeah it requires maturity and mm. i always knew that so for me it's okay it's no more my journey but when i was there I say i'm going to show you something you've never seen because i understood from my artistic point of view what can be done in the movie industry like mm. you can use the wires but not just to, just to pull and just like uh, so no 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 if we use the wires correctly and have all the tricks you can use and make it safe mm. we can do something people say did you really do the job who cares did you really because that's also another story there is an ego i want mm -hmm. to make sure that like, you know the crane i didn't do the jump on yeah, the, yeah i yeah. heard this yeah yeah for me i've got no problem to say that because i know i know the jump i've done mm. okay okay who cares but for me, it's like, it's not about that, man. It's an orchestra. We try to show something. People, if later on say, we still don't know if it's been done or not, who cares? He has to blend into the story mm. and say that, oh my God, that was crazy. And that's, that's literally what I try to do with mm -hmm. one movie. Yeah. With one sequence, yeah. which I try. Okay. I really thought I was going to do more. It made an impact, though. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it really did. How, how long did you kind of pursue... Like, how long were you in that mindset of like, okay, I'm gonna pursue this and I want to do more? Because you were in what was the film, the tournament? Yeah, tournament. Yeah. But I I did something uh, with Scott Man before. Okay. You know, like when you do kind of a teaser to try to get money. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. So he said, hey, could you do it? And for me, was, oh yeah, nice. So I did a teaser with him, and then after James Bond, say, okay, I know you won't say you won't say yes because James Bond say, do you want to be? In yeah, well, no, no problem. So I did the, the tournament uh, okay. after that. Um, but uh, to answer to your question, I think I hold this to 2000, yeah, probably 2009, 2010. I was still yeah, thinking, it's a I, I still think I'm gonna be, a, but it just go because yeah. no one contacted you. So, but also after that, I was completely destroyed. Like after James Bond, Madonna. physically, right? Oh, yeah, 2000, 2006, uh, top 2009. The Phoenix, I came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you say about 2007, you were like, you, yeah, it's like a two year injury. So what was that like, just overworked body or? Yeah, it's just like, it's insane. Yeah. The amount, that's why I was so much respect from, from like Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, other people. Stuff you say, that was amazing. They've done it like, they repeat again and mm -hmm. again and yeah. again. And someone's like, whew, whew, they're good. But for me, it's just like, I demand too much on my body. That's influenced my whole philosophy now. I was I was already very careful, but it literally prints very strongly in me. Like, okay, I don't care what everyone's doing, even if my ego say, but say, come on, look, imagine you do this. <laughs> it was oh my god, he did this. So like, this is how the brain, the ego can talk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, imagine watches that you do this. Everyone's oh my god, I didn't know you could do that. So you can put into more into your legend, you know. But that's that's where you need to be a master. So forget that. Put this to the side. I'm not mm -hmm. training that. That's not my way. And, uh, and you then, say uh, yeah. sacrifice flamboyance for health. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If that is to say, it's a message. Some people can take it or not. It doesn't matter. That's my that's my path. I sacrifice, I sacrifice flamboyance for for health. What what was was it kind of one thing in particular that in that period, sort of 2007, was was bad or like did you have a certain injury or just everything? Broke my wrist. Yeah. I did uh, six months with a broken wrist on the confession tour, but. I arrive on the confession tour after James Bond with already my Achilles tendons like hurting me. Uh, I had back. I've got in my book, everything is written. Mm. And the list is like this. <laughs> list, like, literally. Every day your journal, you're like pain. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, left knees, uh, back. I had the back, left knees, uh, Achilles tendon, um, fingers, like rest. <sighs> Do you think the the Madonna tour was worse than James Bond for like repetition and? Oh yeah, oh. that was a big tour, right? <laughs> if someone said now you do it again, nope. Yeah. <laughs> how many like how many how many nights? How many shows? Months? It I've was, got the book. Yeah. What around the world? It's another thing I've got. I've got you know like on the tour they give you a book for all the journey you uh, do. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And I wrote on it everything. I made it signed for from all the dancer in Madonna. Yeah. 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 And um, I, I, can't, I can't answer now, but it's almost like you have a, it was like two days show, one day rest, three days show, one day rest, two days show, one day rest, two days yeah. show. One. It's Just crazy. Not, yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, Seb, let's go, we go outside, we're gonna, say, oh, yeah, go. 
<laughs> fun, guys. For me, it's like ice, do this, acupuncture. So, uh, and I was asking like massage, everything. I spend all my time. So, mm, you need because it was just a journey of survival. Yeah. Because mm. every show and my part was crazy. You know, sometimes I wanted to do a workshop like this, a special mm. workshop. Call it like in the to be in my shoes because yeah. I always had a regret. Like people have no idea physiologically what I've been through. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, you can do oh, yeah. for me, sir. This was insane. Literally, I thought I'm gonna die every night. Because my heart was. And then I remember Madonna said, Why are you breathing so heavily? Could you just. <laughs> I was like, Man, you have no idea. It's like I'm gonna die. As soon as, you know, I was like this and the show finished, as soon as they closed, I went straight outside to breathe. <gasps> I wanted to breathe. Literally, wow. this wow. is it. And then my. my Oh my god, that was yeah. like insane. So just two years of just, and then you were just wiped out. Like, After recovery, don't, don't even talk to me about Paco. That's what people say. Yeah, you disappear, kind of. Weather. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I was like, <laughs> see ya, <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, what did you do during that time instead of Paco then, or like chilling? Try to guess. Art. Yes. Lots yeah. of art. Yeah. Yes. That's what I thought. A lot. Okay, I'm an I'm an artist now. Mm -hmm. I know I'm an artist, but this is okay. I need I need to rest. I need to recover. That was very important to recover physically and mentally, mm -hmm. and also to reconnect with my family because uh, 2006, my daughter was three years old. So you be on a journey for nine months away from your baby. It's, it's, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no way. Like yeah. for me, I still have the umbilical cord. For me, it's like no, 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 no. We're connected. Mm -hmm. And we have like teeny and FaceTime, so oh, it's terrible. So when, for me, it's like, okay, now I'm gonna, all the time I lose, I need to get it back. So yeah. art and this, this is so important to me. That was the most important to the mm. top. And then, uh, and then I say, I'm gonna be an actor. <laughs> so that's why I say, okay, I'm gonna do uh, acting <clears throat> class, do my pictures. Yeah. Well, that was this era, like, okay, mm -hmm. forget. And I was like this, nope, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope, mistake. Mm. Um, but you had to try. You had to yeah, find yeah. that, find yeah. that out, right? Yeah. 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 I, need, I need to try. And I see, is, uh, I realize in life, stuff come to me when it's ready, and based on the choice you make. But when you force it, it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. It's come to you. It's look, like, James, jump London. Uh, I just, I just make in my head say, I will never ever do an interview just like that. I'm gonna do documentary when we can explain deeper what we do, the mm. art, you do, plus, you know, kind of stuff like that. Yeah. And then Jump London came. Mm -hmm. Then I say, oh, I'll be, okay, I know what I want to do. I want to be surrounded with artists and live my life as an artist. I jump London and I talk only philosophy now. Don't talk to me about Jump London. Jump London came. And then after Madonna came. And then, a, then when I force it. Yeah. Mm. None, Doesn't work. None. And now it's different because I understood my journey. I understand what I'm doing. And now I feel more like I'm a captain and I'm in control of what I'm doing and I can see, and I'm more mature. So I can see, so, oh, wait, we turn. <laughs> we, turn. <laughs> we, go there, we go there. So that's it, yeah. Nice. You talk about, um, I don't know if you want to elaborate on it, but in sort of after this, like on your board, basically, you have some some stuff and then it's like 2017, uh, 2007, yeah. you're wiped out, injury and things. And then you have the word betrayal. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is that, I've got a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, who is, what is that in relation to? I had, um, uh, at this time, I had, uh, um, I don't say an agent. He was not even an agent, kind of a business partner, someone I met because <clears throat> you pay the price for everything you do. So I was, after Jump London, I was a bit upset because we, for me, the guy was too young. They didn't understand the, the vision I had. So I said, I need to be with someone more mature and adult. Like yeah. someone, but someone who's who's from uh, UK who understand uh, who's from UK. So I had a, I've been contacted with someone. I said, oh yeah, this guy. So I met a, like a relationship for business with with this person. Is he was kind of like acting like an agent. Yeah. Fast forward. Uh, I was very aware of our contract, so I didn't want to sign any contract until I see it with a lawyer. Proper, so we go. I need to see the detail. But they made me sign this contract the day where I broke my wrist. Because uh, I was keep saying, I don't want to say, yeah, Seb, you just broke your wrist on tour. Like one week before you start, they can literally cancel everything. And then you've got a broken wrist and you've got no insurance, nothing, nothing. Mm. So I was like, oh my God. <laughs> then I sign. Yeah. Oh, fucked, man. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where I literally get uh, completely betrayed. Is, then is, you, is, you're on tour with a broken wrist. 
Yeah. As I say, how heavy it is. And then you try to see at least you've got money coming in when you've got your wife with the baby. Babies, and, stuff yeah. and then you've got no money coming in. And you call the guy, say, where's my money? And then it's just... Doot, doot, doot. Sure. Yeah. Do I maybe know who this agent is? Huh? Do I know who this agent is? Probably, I won't say the name. Was an agent to other people as well later on? No. Or not? No, uh, okay. I hope, I hope no. No, okay, <laughs> oh, yeah, God. no. Um, it's, not, it's not even an agent. That's my problem also. You need to look at, I was too naive. It's not, it's not his fault. Yeah. It's my fault. I, I allow him to be in my uh, territory. Yeah. Uh, because I was like, it, like I say, for me, not, everything happened to me happened for a reason. And I need the lesson. If you don't learn the lesson from me, you play the victim, it will come again and yeah, again yeah, and yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. So that's what happened to me. I allow him to come. I pay the price for it. That's why I was betrayed because for me, I'm so much, oh my heart. We do parkour, you know, we don't care about the money. We do. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I know, I, because I, I, when, when I saw the word betrayal, I thought potentially it was related to, and I don't know if you want to go into this. I, was there not a period when you were working with a gym or a trampoline park or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, things got kind of messy there. Oh, my God. But that's, that's not betrayal. That's... That's just life of a business. Yeah. It's just like, okay, you want to learn, you want to be, each time you want to be something, it comes with something. Yeah. You know, I want to be an actor. Yeah. <laughs> be careful. You know, it comes with something. This is the same. You want to be an entrepreneur because after, because my journey is like this. Um, uh, instruction, formation, knowing something. Okay. Then after we want to be pro. Okay. Let's go into the world of pro. Okay. I want to make it, but now I'm a performer. Yeah. Performer, you're like a piece of the chase. Right? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's all my scar. Performer. They say, no, 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 now you need to grow. Now I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. So what is it to be an entrepreneur? So that's the journey of an entrepreneur. So you collaborate with people, you think it's going to work. You've got a vision, but they've got a different vision. Yeah. And some of them, they've got more, more experience than, than you because you've never been an entrepreneur. I've been a... Uh, like we're we're in the jungle. We're outside. We just we just we, uh, jump. <laughs> it's, that's all we do. So that's performing. Mm -hmm. But now you learn that. Okay, how do I make something sustainable? How can I build something like worth it? Yeah, that's where I am now. So that was this. It's for me. This is not so much betrayal. It's just like it's just yeah bad yeah, like yeah, bad yeah, business yeah, decision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And to be honest, for me, all I see is like I'm not a victim. I've been naive, rightly so, because you learn. But it's a lot with naivety. Yeah. It's just like, uh, you should never celebrate. Yeah, everything is good. Everything happened. Be careful. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so something else coming. I talk about it on this podcast a lot. Like the, I've made with, with Motus, <coughs> yeah. every fucking mistake. You see? <laughs> like yeah. so many yeah. mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, it, it, yeah, it's, and it's, you look back and you beat yourself up, but it's just naivety. And then you have to learn and try and yeah. just do better next time. That's, that's, so. what makes, that's what makes who you are. Like I did in Gibraltar, they say like, would you come back and change everything? I would change nothing. Yeah. Even my scar here when it's like stuff is. So this, I don't know the story behind this. Firefighting. Firefighting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened? You, I remember hearing. I your... was stuck between a truck and a pillow. Yeah, that's not because fun. Like... But your arm is like yeah. fine now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What wow. The, look, the... I can't. I can't touch. Ah, uh, okay. I yeah, yeah. I can't go, but I move. Because mm -hmm. so. you got massive biceps. Yeah. Yeah. Just in the way. No, but this did teach me. This teach me a lot. Also, you know, when you do physio, you learn more than when you train. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because now there is no issue. You need to go back. You need to come back to where you were. So that's where you learn the how subtly. It's not just like I do ten thousand jumps. No, 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 no. It's a delicate um, machine. Your body. Mm -hmm. and that's where you need to know. That's what I say. I start to write it down everything, because then I say, okay, ah, oh. because this muscle didn't work anymore. So it's, wow. uh, it didn't work. So they had to do electro like stimulation. Yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. That. And then the wow. I remember the first day. It was, oh, I was my god! It was oh my god! He moved! He moved! And like it's like almost mm -hmm. someone is paralyzed. It's not as uh, dramatic as this, but this is it moved. How long was the recovery of that then? Mm, less than a year. People ah, was okay. a bit surprised. I come back pretty quickly, but it's linked with all the training. Everything makes sense. Everything yeah. you've done before, prior, all the crying. You know when I say sweating, crying stuff. Like yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like sometimes Bogo say, to be strong, to be useful. Thing. Come on, man. It's like you do this, but you never use it. You'll use it like once in a while. Like, you probably never, ever, ever use it. But for the first time, like all my journey, the stuff I've been doing, all the, the journey through pain, 
makes sense now because yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very touch wood i'm very good through pain mm -hmm. like you probably want to touch something better this is very yeah. cheap wood it doesn't matter i'm very good in enduring yeah. pain i've been through a lot and there will be more pain because life has always surprise for you however my training compared to how i was before like was very good because it helped me to go through a lot of stuff mental like like yeah. the stuff we go through so, mm -hmm. and i said okay that's linked with the training yeah so that's uh that's a good uh also for me it's a good sign because it show like people say oh be careful you're gonna hurt yourself yeah but you can hurt yourself anytime you can anywhere. get Not crushed between yourself. a truck and a boat whoa yeah yeah mm -hmm. so for me it's just uh, just live your life just mm -hmm. do what you love because this is a good reminder to uh, save space with especially with now the time we're living in with the stuff happening yeah 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 uh for me it's like well yeah good we need to be cautious but also we need to live our lives yeah and mm. that's very important yeah, yeah. I, I realize to anyone listening to this podcast who isn't watching and who maybe hasn't seen, Seb has like a pretty decent scar all the way up his kind of uh, tricep on his arm. And you've got like, are these pin marks, the holes? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. had screw here. Wow. Uh, six screw. Three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three there and I was like this. And funny enough, shame we don't film because I was doing parkour with it. Oh really? Wow. I was like, oh my God, you're crazy! I was doing, you know, like the like fence. robot I doing, man. <laughs> I was doing the fence. Yeah, but if you get caught, it you have no idea what it is <laughs> because it's super strong. It's screwed into your bone. It's your bone, yeah. And it's like super strong. Like people get hurt, like just hitting you hit someone like this, and uh, but normally you see people. Say, but the, mm. I remember the first day that women said, "Okay, we're gonna start the physio." She hold me with with this. And I thought for me, I was, uh, since I broke, I thought, oh, she hold me. Okay, let's go. Ah! Wow. <laughs> I said, no, what no worries, man. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. do this. So it's part of the wow. um, journey. Um, I'm just going to quickly go to toilet. Yeah, yeah. Something that you, we, 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 what we got? We got a bit of time. Um, something that I really liked that you said in your Instagram video is you kind of, you, you basically broke up like the cultures of parkour. You yeah. said like there's the eighties culture, like the founders. Yeah. And then you had like the nineties, which you kind of yeah. said was like the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then obviously like two thousands you have Jump London, Jump Britain, and, and and then two thousand and ten onwards, like Instagram. And I think as you said, like you can't you can't not look at it that way. Mm. And I but at the same time I do think it isn't like I I I personally believe it's super important to still respect everything that's happened um, yeah i think some people are like man eh, fuck it i'll just do what i want yeah, like yeah yeah but i think at the end and they, and they might like be like oh seb he started it like he can't do this and it's like well, <laughs> that doesn't matter yes like yeah, i think yeah. it's it's and uh, it's yeah. a balance i think it's yeah. a balance because i like i was saying don't particularly like the word tracer yeah but at the same time and i, I don't particularly want to use it out in in public but I still respect all of those roots and the origin it's of where it came from. Part of the history. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and also it's so tangibly close. We're not talking a hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah, yeah, it's time. like Yeah, yeah. All this stuff for me, it, uh, and I'm still working on it. Like mm. I, because everyone tries to understand what we're doing. And for me the same, I try to to explain it in a way like it's not conflictual and but not just to avoid it, it's just to, to be more constructive and really get the point. For example, now we're talking about church here because people, I was thinking, people think like Paco is one thing, one period. It's been a lot of period development and also now what I discover, so it's been deeply influenced with the technology. Yeah. Because 2000, you know, when you say 2003 to 2005, it seems like big, but if you Google, like, I think it's YouTube, I think YouTube is 2003, something like that. Yeah. And it's the period where there was a- No, YouTube must have been 2000 and maybe it started Not that far. Not may, that far. i think technically maybe it started then but i so i remember when i was at school after jump london and on the urban free flow forums the way we shared our videos was Sorry, like guys, i'm going to google yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you say go on go on we go on. shared our videos using like um like we transfer like you send it <laughs> and you'd, you'd put a link on the forum <laughs> and then the link share each other's videos yeah and, videos, and you'd yeah. have to download it so you couldn't fucking stream it you had to download yeah. the video so you could be downloading a virus or whatever and they'd normally have like a 20 download expiration thing. Yeah. So you'd know if your video was doing well, if it expired and then people were like, oh, link's dead, can you put another one up? And you'd rehost it. Oh, wow. And that's how you showed your video. And then YouTube came along and that's when like, it became so much easier. And I, yeah. my first YouTube channel, I uploaded other people's videos. Like really? ones that I had saved on my computer because I was just like, you'd, it, I don't know. You didn't, like people need to you didn't necessarily think about it as your channel of your own stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'll put these up. Like, yeah, that's so, so interesting. Yes, uh, um, because I've noticed like there is a lot of uh, 
It's generational, but also it's technological. Why I don't have connection here? Oh, the signal is dead here. Uh, it's terrible. Okay, oh, please do, YouTube. Google, Google YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I believe it's because after, if you remember, there is a, a era where everyone was doing showreel. Yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's like showreel, yeah, and yeah. everyone goes there showreel on YouTube by showreel two thousand dollars showreel showreel, but prior to that, no much showreel. If you think about because fourteenth of February two thousand and five. 2005, you see, for me, it's around uh, John Britton. Yeah. Around mm -hmm. John Britton. That's why yeah. when you say, you say, yeah, it's bizarre because after John Britton, it seems like, boom. Yeah, YouTube, it's YouTube. YouTube helps a lot. And mm -hmm. uh, and before YouTube, I think it was Facebook. And I wrote it down. Bebo. Word. Yeah. <laughs> I like that name. So like, we just dig it, all this stuff. The first the first time I ever went to lease, I the guy I went with, I met on Bebo. I met a random Irish guy. What? He'll probably be man. watching this. Yeah, he'll probably watch this. Killian Sexton, he'll probably see this. I met a random Irish guy on Bebo and we went to lease together. Oh, like, that's cool. and, then, and then we met Jason Poole. And you see, that's also one thing I've written also. Because it's different era. There is a, I think it's the nine. Uh, when, when did you say you did this? When I went to lease? Or? Yeah, yeah, 2000. Mm, early 2007, maybe. 2007. This generation, your generation. Yeah was a generation where people met. Yeah. Like from mm. nowhere, met. Uh, is anyone's got a spare room, something like that? We're gonna- Yeah, because we met- uh, It was very deep at this time. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Duncan, TK17? He was like a ginger American guy, but oh, he sure. did, he used to go to Lee so much back then and do okay. like, he did yeah. lots of like historical videos on it. And uh, I met him and Lisa as well at the same time. But, you see, but it was, it was, yeah, it was, it yeah. was the, the physical connection was very important. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. you look at the- It's a bit different now. It's not the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still, I think it's stuck for a while. I, I don't think COVID helped that much, but yeah, I yeah. could see it slightly as parkour grew bigger. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy just to like um, yeah. meet up with someone. Cause yeah. even I'd do that. You'd message someone, you just stay at the house. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, you do parkour, you're yeah. like, safe. Like, yeah. So I don't like, that's why I wanted to travel because I wanted to see, because it's so easy. Like you see things that I think, it's like that, but say, no, 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 you need to speak with people, the mm. new generation, because I'm a dinosaur, so the dinosaur need to move <laughs> to see what's happening. <laughs> so for me, it's like, okay, I need to understand what's going on. But for me, like also there is a people also now met to do competition, yeah. which mm. at your era, it's not meeting to do competition. It's already something different. The seed is like, yeah, but I travel around the world and I can't meet, but uh, we're gonna do competitions. Already there, there is something different. Yeah, mm -hmm. structurally, it's completely sure. different, and that's why I can see the era now. Is that uh, we enter to we enter, we're definitely in it. Is an instant generation. Yeah, it's yeah. Like Instagram, TikTok is like. And it, it, oh, yeah, it's, I it's, wanted to know what you thought about that. The progression of movement as well is mm. like, people go, oh, that's possible. Boom, done it. Yeah. Whereas back then, it just it was not the mm. same. Manpower. Like yeah, I, was I wanted to ask this. Joking about manpower, like we're joking. Could you imagine the guys doing? So uh, okay, so this so is a question. When you were like young guys and manpower was a thing, and obviously like David jumped it, and did you ever jump it back then? No, like, no. Never. So like, but did you even imagine? We were joking. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you're joking. Oh, full flip manpower. <laughs> that's that's that was how it was. Now cork and double side flip in the last month. Like, yeah, that's crazy. But I still have because no one will ever want. But I still say I don't. I want to be positive, but people at some point someone needs to say something about that. They need to be careful mm -hmm. because now they're pushing the envelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. if we want, to, if we just enter to the world of sport, traditional sport, everyone can hurt themselves. Like you do slam dunk, someone miss, boom. Yeah. Uh, hurdle, someone miss, boom. Parkour, touch wood, okay. But it's not only. Uh, it can be very tragic for the family or for the person or whatever's gonna happen, mm -hmm. okay? But also it's gonna be an impact on oh, what we do. A hundred percent. And sometimes people have no idea, say, yeah, yeah, it's good to see, yeah, yeah. Now it's a lot of celebration. And as I said to you, I'm so much into yin yang. I say, as beautiful it is, someone somehow has to say something. And for me, it's for the record. Mm. I don't want to bring, it's not bring bad, it's just fact. Mm. It's like people need to be careful with pushing the envelope because to want, hey, I want to my name stand out and be in the legend. Yeah, just be a legend within with your life, but not try to be a legend with one move because don't insult life. And we have a several historically speaking, we've got people who just passed away. You have nigh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff yeah. Like that. I, I, But we're yet to really have anyone who has died doing 
straight up parkour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, uh, you have a, yeah, yeah. Pavel Kishin also. Yeah, yeah. He did the backflip. Backflip on, on the roof, yeah. See, it's not really parkour, but as I say, mm-hmm. It's very close to us. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I'm not. It's not like pointing in anyone because for me, everyone lives their life fully, and I'm very advocate of that. To like, hey, come on, we all gonna die at some point. However, it's. I mean, if let like the the obvious thing it's is what it's worth. The guy like, who calls manpower. We didn't actually speak about this on the podcast yet, mm-hmm. but like he did it beautifully. But there's been a lot of talk about his foot placement because it yeah. was like very close. Te- was technically, very, you yeah. saw it. Huh? Yeah, it's like technically perfect, but also. Yeah, but do, yeah, on it's like that side of perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's like if that was lower to the ground, then that takeoff would be like, yeah, like that's quite accurate. Yeah. I mean, it, obviously, his feet were slightly over, but to get and it's like off. if yeah. that if but that like, did go wrong, the surely not risk ma- that. Yeah, yeah, it's manpower. So like the mm-hmm. cultural impact, the the the, oh. the worldwide. It would it would obviously. And I mean, the other big thing is descents. Like they are so impressive, and they're such an amazing practical use of mm. parkour but they're so fucking dangerous that's why my conflict mm. is like this like you see some a guy called lord hamilton who did giant wave sk- uh, surfing is ah, this, okay or alex Arnold, who's doing yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. solo climbing is yeah. more actual like this i admire those people it's amazing this is their stuff they're responsible stuff like that but if alex Arnold happened to something happened to alex Arnold, i don't think it will affect all the work's been done into climbing mm. it's on him I don't think it's the same for us yet no, because I we think, pa- not pa- yet yeah, yeah. climbing's yeah. had it yeah and also people mm-hmm. are like oh especially because we do it in the street we're yeah. not doing it like away yeah. from people yeah, yeah. you know and it's, it's the thing it also is that realistically yeah if somebody is gonna die effectively it's probably going to be something that is uh, yeah, yeah, at height yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. which effectively is then reinforcing the stereotype of like oh you're jumping on roofs because mm-hmm. oh, yeah. in skateboarding it's like people do die but it's usually they're going fast and they have a bad collision or something yeah. and mm-hmm. it's like well it's it's easier to understand but also see how that could be a freak accident mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whereas with parkour it's too easy to go well they shouldn't have been doing something up high mm-hmm. yeah. and that's and then and then all the people who've been like oh it's up high blah 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 it reinforces yeah. all of that uh, mm-hmm. I, do, I don't care I do whatever I want I'm yeah. free mm-hmm. and, uh, see, for me okay you're not an ambassador yet we sit here surrounded See, by because, like because once <laughs> yeah but again like this like for me i can see also like um for example here yeah for us like we know we know is he pushing the envelope or not technically the risk is here no doubt about ah, it. no he, okay. so in terms of the sport he's not pushing the envelope there we go it's a very small job that's what i see because i've got knowledge yeah of course anything can happen mm-hmm. yeah he's not pushing the envelope no mm-hmm. now when you start to put tricks and flips i say hey I've done flips. Sometimes you miss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's you, even the best. So Pavel Kishin was good. Yeah, it was not just oh, he was good. It has happened. All I'm saying is like okay, we, we can keep on going and be like constructive. But for me, sometimes I say someone has to say it. Sometimes I watch mm-hmm. stuff as like, someone has to say it because at some point they're pushing the envelope. It's gonna affect us. The good stuff we believe in, the stuff uh, is gonna affect us. So I don't want to stop anyone. I'm not. I'm not the the guy who has to do anything but at least i said it. it's just like okay it's good 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 uh manpower naked manpower respect it the time we, <laughs> naked yeah no we know what i mean for me the time we were doing this that's why it was miss there is a bit of mysticism and it's, it's more spiritual it's because we respect almost like there is a spirit around it we respect this stuff okay mm-hmm. i'm sure the guy trained but what is the goal yeah and also because now I, unfortunately the goal is is it like that's what i was gonna say yeah. like how much do you think um the phone and filming stuff influences or just just in general like before instagram before all of this yeah. like when yeah. people started to film parkour for themselves like how much do you reckon that changed people's because people probably lot, without yeah. knowing people train for the video <laughs> it's part of it's not life. even not knowing like i literally I'd well, i can to... feel it you can feel yeah, it, like yeah. going out and you're training and then when it comes up like oh i want to film something like yes there's like good and bad to it because obviously yeah. afterwards you look back at it and you're like that was a great like memory yeah but how much did it take yeah, away from what you want you know like the it's... other day in that park and i was doing that little lache thing yeah i went and got the gopro because mm-hmm. i was like I, I i was struggling and i was like oh i want to do it 
And if I'm going to do it, I may as well film it. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, wait, am I now? And it's it's that weird internal thing. Yeah. But, but I think that's better than beforehand turning up to someone. Go, what can, what can I film? What can yeah, I get? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But um, then it's it is also tough because I'm like I'm filmmaker. Like yeah, I know. We love to What's capture the, the history because for yeah. me, like your your books and everything, it's like I have that, but also mm-hmm. I have terabytes of footage because I want. Mm-hmm. It's the yeah, it's the history, it's the memory, yeah. and it's like if someone is gonna like Dylan Baker when mm-hmm. he first did that descent. That's pushing the envelope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and and it's like if you're gonna push the envelope, in the same way Alex Honnold with with Free Solo, it's like well it kind of makes sense to capture that. Yeah. So it's it's so tough. Uh, that's why like it's when you have the roof culture, mm-hmm. I absolutely love it. Yeah. And I always say that guys, it's it's edgy, mm-hmm. but I watch stuff edgy. So for me, but also now I'm very conscious about how a baby is what we do. It's like uh, man, we work to get our um, noble letter, you know, like uh, it's recognized, it's, it's, it's something. It's yeah, 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 yeah. And for all the good work we do, you just need one, one stuff to go back, like, yeah. and just, mm-hmm. and then, and then they're gonna put into institution and stuff like that. And then we go to, and they say, oh my God, it was so good in my era because I could do this, I could do that. And that's like, mm-hmm. 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 and you can't even feel it, like, nothing happened in Dame du Lac. But look how hard is it to go to Dame du Lac now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. even put camera. In really? my time, I can oh. go every time. All yeah. I can spend all day in Damdu, like with my sandwich, I was on top. No one, <laughs> no one care. I literally, mm. where Seb is in Damdu, like I was just like, yeah, spending time here. That was my place. Mm-hmm. Now it's completely different. Oh, get out, do you get fine? It's completely different. So for me, it's like we know what we've got, but once we lose something, that we realize, oh my god. So that's why I say, for me, it's like uh, I just now I say it. No, we can move on, but. I'm happy mm. because I say it and it goes wherever it goes, but yeah. I say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of kind of, you, you mentioned the word like institution there and things. What, because I, I think what we were just talking about is in inevit- inevitability. In- inevitability. In- yeah, that's the word See, from, no. the, from the French guy. <laughs> <Okay, good. laughs> um, unfortunately, at the same time, it's not like we have parkour being taught in all the school, like, I mean, it's summer schools and yeah, things, yeah, yeah. but it's like, it's not as far f- in that respect. Let, it, I think there's a lot for it to pull back from in the public eye, but yeah. from institutions, there's, I mean, there's still a lot of institutions, but like it could, it, it could climb higher. It yeah. could be oh, implemented yeah. into more education, et cetera, yeah, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. The Olympics is something that I see as like, if it were to go to the Olympics, could that be a catalyst for it to then sort of, move in that direction, physical education. We obviously met uh, whenever it was in Lausanne with the yeah. David Bell interview yeah, and things yeah. with the IOC. Like what was your involvement back then? And then also like, what's your thoughts about the situation? David's involvement, David's departure. I was really, really involved. I yeah. was literally from the uh, forefront of launching stuff because I had a hope that we can for real, not for personal agenda of companies, we can unify everyone under one banner and get some power because it's political power, yeah. m- uh, money power. We can literally influence and in, like print how culture, like literally talk, no, no, this is like literally, that's the way I am. For me, it's like we do round table, I bring everyone like, like store, like you come and, and we talk like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. productive. Like, and, and I know me because I've, I'm detached in terms of, uh, um, I'm for legacy. So mm-hmm. for me, I'm not for like, <laughs> I'm gonna be, this gonna be my office. And if you want to say something, come, no, you know, uh, for me, it's like, if we, we can literally, I saw the pictures, oh my God, it can be amazing. Like people can say, oh, there is David, oh, there is, my, there is for everyone, for every generation, you know? And uh, that's that's how I, th- I thought it's gonna be. Like if they, because they give us power, like literally we're sitting with people, that's, you know, no one goes sitting here. I was like, okay, we do it right. And then he went wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I, I felt it, I see it. And I did my choice because I told, when I bring everyone, I did the logo, I said, guys, even before I'm, I, call, I call David, all the guys, I say, I've got the power to call the guy once to convince them to be together, but only once. If anyone fucked up, it's over. Yeah. It's all, I said, I literally said, of course, some people are, had different ideas, agenda. 
as soon as I saw that, they, I sent the text, I said, guys, I'm out. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm out. I'm yeah, out. because you were out before it ever yeah. felt public, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I right. saw you in Lausanne, but then I never saw you as any yeah. part of the thing. It's Whereas my experience. Yeah, David. I, I've got enough scar to smell. <laughs> <laughs> it goes in me as wave. Like I said, for World Chase Tag, I say, I'm with you guys as far. But as soon as I will feel the, the waves change, as, yeah. as quick you see me, I'm out. You're gone. You're, oh yeah, I'm gone. That's, that's for sure. Like there is no way I'm, I'm gonna stay. Yeah. And so David obviously was in at the start and there was a lot of hostility, I think, because yeah, it was like, oh, David's been out of the picture and now suddenly he's like the face of this thing being yeah. like, we're going in this direction. And it was like, what? Why <laughs> Why do you have the right kind of thing? Yeah. And then he, he departed. But I mean, I don't really know the situation in the last couple of years. Like, I mean, everyone I think was guilty of lots of internet fuck fig and then yeah. not really actually doing anything proper <laughs> um yes w w what are your thoughts on the future of that situation and the olympics i have no idea i'm observing yeah I mean, it's just like uh like uh the emperor palpatine uh, take over stuff so now i'm like master yoda i go <laughs> <laughs> is there any jedi who's gonna unify the force here <laughs> so yeah so for me it's just like uh I felt free because I don't feel I've got any responsibility for anyone. You know what I mean? So it's like, I give everything I can give. I'm here, okay, I can give. Anyone we can make their choice. Good on you. I'm an entrepreneur. I do my stuff. I help, I will help kids. I convey what I can convey. Now I've just observed. Yeah. But I don't think it's gonna go anywhere good. No. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. That's my intuition. I say, it's not even intuition, it's a fact. It's like, it's gonna be a diluted stuff of what we truly know, what we truly love. Mm. It's gonna be, yeah, it is parkour. Yeah, it's, this one is parkour. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really parkour. It's like, meh, it's meh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's popular, meh. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not like, for me, I see like, we are the people like, like surfers and it's a competition of surfers, everyone's doing it. And you are waiting for the, everyone's leaving, the competition is over. And now like the sun is going down and then you say, okay, that's my way for me now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then that's it. And then you go home and oh, yeah, hi honey, I'm doing this, I'm yum yum. And that's stuff, oh, nice, life is good. That's why I say parkour, no one can take away parkour from you or for you. Yeah. Impossible, mm -hmm. it's impossible. Like no way. Oh, now you, you're not allowed to do it outside ever. Good. <laughs> I will do it anyway. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like, like you, weren't, yeah. I will do you it. weren't allowed on the school roof at the start. It's like you did it anyway. Yeah, right. I will do it anyway because I know I respect, I'm a respectful person. I will mm -hmm. find my way. Yeah. You, you will not stand here all day just to wait for me. I will do it at 6.30, 3.30 a.m., whatever. You, I practice and it's not flamboyant, so people don't even notice. You know, yeah, do, yeah. Uh, we're ninjas. The thing I really like... <laughs> <laughs> the thing I liked that you said in your your talk on Instagram was you you just you seemed very at peace with the fact that like and I can totally see where your head would have gone after like Jump Britain and everything because you were seen as like the Oops. figurehead. Oh yeah. And for a period you said like you were it, there was like kind of responsibility and pressure, but now yeah. you're very at peace with the fact that like it's not yeah. yours. Like you're yeah, yeah. yeah. and I, I really like that because I think it would be oh. it would be impossible to be the other way, wouldn't it? It's terrible. Also, the beauty is free running. Even I say, oh, I shouldn't do that. But free running give me straight away an idea of what it is if you're like the forefront of something. Mm -hmm. That's why even like for some for some period, people claim the name of like, I'm the founder. I never claim free running. I mm -hmm. let, just let it go. I was like, oh, good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, and then you, you know, I was like, great. Keep on going, guys. <laughs> because for me, it's just like, you can't be, it's worse to be forefront of something is terrible. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. also one of my experience also being uh, on James Bond and Madonna. I was not forefront, but I can see this is the top of the top. This is how, is it, how it is when you're on top. Man, so much, like Michael Jackson, so much on you. It's like, okay, if you like moving, you want to say, could you just get out of my way so I can do my thing, like my precision jump, ding, ding. You know, like stuff like that. The uh, watch is tag, same. People at the end say, oh, yeah, can I take a picture? But it's not aggressive. It's just like, no one cares. If I'm standing here, they want to catch me. They say, oh, I won't catch him. I don't want to embarrass him because he's super No, I can see in the eyes I'm going to get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so refreshing. Yeah, so let's talk Chase Tag because I mean, yeah, like, I. It's so refreshing. It's good. I, I, 
uh, Christine and Damien, I was like one of the, I got involved very, very early on with like helping film yeah. some of the things. So I've kind of been there since like the, their first like mock-ups mm -hmm. and it's insane to see where it's now heading and things. And you have been so involved for the last few years and you seem so passionate about it. And like, you've been working with, uh, which team is it? Blacklist. Blacklist. Yeah. 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 And I love it because you're there and you're like tactics and you're planning and oh, like, yeah. and yeah, it's, and you compete and it's, I mean, what is it about, because speaking of competition, like you in the past haven't been sort of crazy, like pro on competition. And you've said something in that talk about how like competition isn't toxic, but the people bring the toxicity. Yeah, that's why I say I'm gonna, as soon as I see the toxicity, I'm like, bye bye. Yeah. Hmm. And so chase tag at the moment, you just find it, it's just, it's God. You've seen it. You've yeah, seen yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you can feel it. Yeah, oh, like, I fucking like, love it. You see, like, you're yeah. just like, can I, be, can I have a team? Can I be part of? It's like I want to play too. It's like it's good to watch. It's very intense to watch. Yeah. But there is something in you that can we have a party when we can just have fun just for us? That's why for me it's like, man, like if people never experience that, just come, you'll see. Like no, not you see, you'll feel it. You'll yeah. feel it. It's the best. For me, it's like, yeah, definitely. I'm biased, it's the best. And are you involved in sort of any like proper manner with it or are you just, you just taking part with the teams? What do you mean proper manner? I, like, a, I don't know, at working as an advisor or working with Christian Damien or anything? No, no, I always say to them, and that's what I, how I preserve my soul, I want nothing. Yeah. They even say, oh yeah, we can get paid. I won't say no if they get paid for an interview or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of money, but it doesn't, but if it's too much, like sponsorship, like if it become like too much, oh, say, could you wear a hat? That's the wrong th wrong move. With me, this is the wrong move. Yeah. It's like definitely, mm -hmm. the, okay, I'm out. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm really, I'm here to help, like anything. If they say, could you tweet? I'm gonna tweet, man. I'm gonna talk. I've got no problem with that. I ask nothing, I do it. Yeah. Because it comes from love, love. So that's what I do. Uh, those guys, uh, like uh, Blacklist, these guys there, for me, they've got the soul, they've got the spirit, they're talented. But the way they approach me, they approach me in a way like uh, a student to the master. And yeah. I'm very sensitive. They touch a ping, a chord. So I told, I told them, there is more than just doing World Chase Tag. There is a teaching for life. If you allow me to, I'm going to teach you that. That's what I do with them. So that's what I do. That's why I'm so passionate. Yeah, about I, really, I really like to see it. It's so nice to like rock off and be like, there's Seb. And you're just mm -hmm. like having fun. Off. Enjoying it. Woof. But now, now I'm not practicing anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. I yeah. made the choice now. It's like, it's over. No one. Will. The only way for me to do it again is all the guys are, uh, some like too many guys are injured and I have to step in. That's yeah. the only mm -hmm. way I'm going to go. But I try to do everything to avoid that because I don't want to participate anymore. I enjoyed it. I like to be the sparring. You will see me moving. You see me. Yeah, see yeah, yeah, yeah. I come mm -hmm. early. So I ask only one favor. No money, nothing. You say, can I come early yeah. <laughs> and just practice as much as, oh yeah, go Seb. <gasps> <laughs> That's the best. Because as soon as I've done as much, I I, I can sit down. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've done my part, I practice, it's good. That's all I want. I want to participate. That's why I even like, I love speed competition. I haven't done it yet. So I wanted to ask this. Yeah, go on. I, I remember sort of, um, when we shot the interview with Tim years ago for Flow, and you, yeah, you yeah. touched on competition, and at the time it was predominantly just Red Bull. Oh, oh. Could you try again? Siri just chiming in there. <laughs> um, and you sort of, you weren't positive on that, but oh, now- yeah, I was against competition for a while. Yeah, we're seeing advances in like skill competitions and speed competitions. What are your thoughts around that landscape? Uh, now for me, there is three competitions I like, but also it's just my opinion. So yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Speed. Sebastian Foucault says, <laughs> founder. <laughs> no, no, speed competition, I absolutely, because it's like skills, like real skills, like yeah. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Uh, not under those organizations, mm. but the speed competition, I love it. World Chase Tag, absolutely love it. And skill competition, brilliant. Like the stuff like you need to put your foot on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the tricks, flips, it's, it's not my thing for some other people, but those three, it's like, I think it's linked with the martial art aspect. Mm -hmm. It's always like, oh, he's the master, he's got his black belt, and now you just like this and he's doing nothing. <laughs> Everyone revere me because I've done what I've done in 1960. <laughs> you know, kind of stuff like that. But you can't do shit. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, it's like, no, man, you need to, as a, 
we never know your body can you can have an injury you can't do things but as far as i can move for me it's like like birds and and animals i can move like i want to move and i don't want to regret that's why the ninja warrior also because yeah. my daughter said oh dad why are you not doing this and i had so many excuses yeah the look is too much the guy is laughing about them and they're falling and i got ten thousand excuses and then something the voice inside yeah but what the child inside you telling you to do it yeah yeah you need to do it because you did dancing on ice as well before, right yeah similar it's too late. yeah it's a bit different dancing on ice is because my agent said to me seb i know you're gonna say no and i hear that so how dare you know that? <laughs> but they say so there is a, a, a bit of challenge on it and because yeah. i never ice skating and also i wanted to break what i call the pedestal i hate pedestal yeah it's i needed to break it if I have to be ashamed, I need to I cry and dancing on ice. If I, I need that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so important to get down to earth, and then you can move forward. But if you're in a pedestal, you're in trouble. You're in big, big trouble. Yeah. And that's why that's why I did this. So I did Ninja Warrior. I absolutely love it. My only wish is I've got the key so I can go in. Go in. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> you see, that's what. Even like Shane. You know, Shane is the tester. Yeah. So like, oh, I want to be a tester. You know, that's. We we know that's where we recognize each other. Mm. It's like oh, I'm a, I'm still a child. I just want to. Move, you just want to play. Just I just big, want to play. Give it's a me big the, playground. Give me the toy so I can play. That's all I need. I don't care. And all this stuff when it's politics, I can see people like to. I can talk, but I'm a I'm a passionate talker. Mm. Those are the talker with agenda for me. So like, oh, I'm done. Like like hey, let's say we're gonna swim. Oh, let's go. That's how I started. That's my seed. Yeah. That's why, as a legacy, I try to give that. If people can remember from this guy, this guy is playfulness. That's why my, my company is We Play. This is what I do. People say, yeah, but it didn't start We Play. For you, but for me, so that's how I started. That's what I want to convey because it's a seed for everything we need. To, for me, it's playing. I love it. How, how old are your daughters now? 18 and 13 years old. Wow. Yeah. And. Oh, yeah, so I guess they're already like out of the playground. I, I don't know if you, I have a daughter now who's yeah, like six yeah, months. Yeah. I'm so excited for playgrounds again. Because yeah. like right now she's a little baby, but I look at playgrounds and I'm like, soon. Like <laughs> soon. Three years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. three years old and I say, yeah. She'll still be on the push chair and I'll just yeah, be yeah. swinging around. <laughs> like, but also, everything you do now is, is printing. Yeah. It's printing. The way you behave, the way you act, it's going to be forever. It's just, oh, that's not, this is my dad, this is how he is. Then after you don't have, because people say, oh, I want to teach, I'm going to teach this. You don't have to teach anything. Bruce Lee taught me nothing. It's dead. It was dead. And I'm still like, oh my God, inspire me so much. So the way you behave, that's why in terms of, we talk about ambassador. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the way you behave will print, impact. Yeah. impact the rest of it. That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's mad. Um, you mentioned your company. I don't want to skip over that. Yeah. So you have a... Uh, Fukon Free Running Academy, right? Yeah. yeah. So is that what you're... Free Running Academy. I tried to move to Fukan Academy. It was like... Oh, uh, really? It's so, a battle. For me, it's like... Uh, yeah. So you predominantly just like... Your kind of... Uh, your like daily thing now, you're mostly just coaching. Yeah. And also uh, public speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Public speaking. Uh, uh, my academy. My academy is the main one. It's literally the, the thing. But, uh, but I'm an artist and I've been frustrated artist for a long time. So I try to merge everything together yeah. because I need, I'm not separated. I know if you see my, I'll show you after. Yeah, yeah. Now we can't see it, but you'll see, I, I draw, this is my I've, thing. Uh, so, I mean, to anyone who doesn't know this, Sebastian has an Instagram. Is it, it's one and then plume, right? One plume because I couldn't put, normally I wouldn't put la plume because yeah. it's a French, but I couldn't find it because it was already taken. Uh, what, does la, what does la plume mean? The feather. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, inc I, I mean, I've always known you've sort of done art. I think, mm -hmm. isn't it in Jump Britain? There's some of you, footage of you painting? Or yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was one, um, one attempt to just like switch. Hey, you see? Quick, quick bit in there, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, incredible art. Oh, and in your video online, you, you show around your house and it's just like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's crazy. Is that pure passion? You don't like, oh, yeah. so nothing commercial, you don't sell paintings or... I tried. You tried? It, I tried in 2010. You see, when I was broken, like completely... Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Mentally, I said something was wrong. So I reconnect with family, friends. That's why I contacted David. And I contacted Jerome. Because Jerome was split. David was split. Said, it's wrong. Something wrong. So I do half of a bridge. And it was to them to do the other half. So I yeah. did the other half. And then I said, okay, this is the deal. 
forget Barco. We're friends for friendship. Yeah. That's, that's how I did this. But then Jerome was struggling a lot. He had something. So I helped him. I helped him to go back to normality, we say. And then he said, what are you doing, Seb? Like, uh, because he saw me like oh, I was painting. <laughs> I had my stuff up with my daughter was just painting my, like I said, I'm a painter. I'm going to paint. I'm going to sell my painting. But he sells nothing. Yeah. So and my canvas are like this. So, you know, as you keep painting, you just wait for a week and then you mm-hmm. go to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where do you what do you do? Yeah, with them? What? what I keep them and then I, and then I spread them to all my family. So all my all in my family they all have my painting. Yeah. Oh wow. Because I can't do it. And then Jerome said, No, that's not your thing. That's not your des- not your destiny. But he said to me, You've done stuff. Like Jerome has a, you can see from far, so you see Jump London too. So no no no, you need to go back to that, you need to do that. Mm. He's the one who like planted a seed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I say, you know what? Okay, I'm back. And that's yeah. where I move, I say, okay. Here we go. We're moving, and I move. I take everything. Boom! Wow! Okay. Because I was seeing what happened. All the organization, how people benefit from what we've done. I was like, I don't care what they do, but I need. I've got my space somewhere here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing now. I'm here, and I'm taking this. I, t- I don't want the space. I don't want all the space. I just want my teeny my place where mm-hmm. I feel comfortable. So yeah. That's what I do. Do you just paint at home or do you have a studio? Now I don't paint because I've got uh, technology now. So ah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got my iPad, so now I can... It means that your house take, won't get... Yeah, 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 yeah it yeah. doesn't take space. But I'm waiting to do that. But if I do that, I need to sell it. I need to do something where it's, it doesn't stay in a... You know, yeah. And I need to, to... But I'm happy the way I am now. I'm drawing again. Um, I mean, I would just like to say, I would like... I mean, obviously, as you can see, there. I'm collecting <laughs> stuff. Mm-hmm. I would love to buy something off of you at some okay. point. When times come, yeah. Yeah, so that'd be great. I, I don't know what, but yeah. I'd I'd love it because I, I just can't I'm draw trying to... anything. That's the thing. <laughs> no, it's true. I can say it. I can draw anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's also what I say. I didn't get skilled with. I, I'm less skilled in parkour than I am in drawing. Mm-hmm. I mean, you are very good at drawing. Mm-hmm. That's why we, David, if I, David was here, would say, no, but Seb, I knew Seb. I was doing the job, but Seb was just a uh, guy's drawing. Yeah. Chichat was drawing. Mm-hmm. And I was feel, like philosophy. Mm. But for me, I'm a drawer. And this drawing tell me like you can be good at something if you put your stuff into it. Mm-hmm. That's where after, after everything was open in terms of like, I can do anything. Yeah. Because I started from the scratch. People say, oh, you're so talented. I don't like this talented thing. Because it's, mm-hmm. we know. It's, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. My brother actually said that. He, he, he would told me, he was like, do you think people are actually talented? And do you think that's a word that should be used? Because he, because he said to me, he was like, it doesn't make sense. No yeah. one is talented. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. works towards yeah, something. Yeah. You do get like yeah. weird little sort of, you know, genetic. Yeah. But then is that, that, but then is it's, that talent? Because it's, like it's when ca- you think yeah. of, I don't know what the actual definition of talent is, if you look it up, but it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. not a genetic advan- uh, no. advantage. That's yeah. not talent. Yeah. yeah. You need to add like, there is so many things you need to put together to get as one and to do something. Mm. But most of the story, everyone you can hear, they say, I wasn't the only one good. There is other people. But mm. the guy keep on, oh, you got uh, some advantage, like physiological. Yeah. Like, mm. uh, but ultimately, if you find your stuff, if you put nice effort into it, you get to somewhere. Mm-hmm. I always say that everyone's got a, a curve of progression, a, a progression curve. Yep. Yeah. If you compare, say, oh, yeah, it's better. But you see, say, hey, you start from here, look, you're here. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, that's what I do. My drawing is about that. But I can do, I know I've got more than that. It's just the circumstance because we fight against the society and life, which put a lot of obstacles so you have to overcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what, that's what we do. But in reality, I, I know I can sculpt. Mm. As I say, I've never sculpt. But, but you know it. you can, yeah. Mm-hmm. As The same way I knew I can draw. Have you tried like um, like photography or videography or anything? I I do photography uh, uh, just for me, but not as much. I didn't go as deep on, on this because what also you realize Human being, we're amazing machine because we can do whatever we want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you start, we start with the guitar, man, you can go far with the guitar. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Flute, yeah. go through your camera, you, oh my God. So anything, even this, you go, you can, you go, we can do crazy stuff. So you need to say, hey, we've got a certain amount of time. Yeah, it's what are you going to put it into? So mm-hmm. for me, it's drawing now. Yeah. Because I thought I was, <laughs> I thought I was an actor. So I put everything in acting. So I thought I was a writer. So I need to write a book now. This time it's going to be my book. I'm going to write it, my stuff. And then, yeah, yeah. You're not a writer. You're a draw. You draw. Mm-hmm. This is your stuff. And that's where I am now. I draw and I need to merge with what I've got because who is the guy from Jensen? 
time. <laughs> when do you draw? Is it does do you ever like sit down and have a time to draw, or is it always just like any, on the train when you came time. here? No, I I thought about this when I arrived. So no, no, pff, forget it. So I play. I literally play with. Usually I don't play, but I was playing with video game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the one I just uh, downloaded yesterday because my daughter keep downloading stuff and my stuff. So uh, and you know this game when he's got a spaceship with. Oh yeah, yeah. Like this space invader. Yeah, yeah. I had this one like. Oh yeah, I get this one. I'm great. And that's what I did on my way to come. Amazing. And I still say that's enough, Sib. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, we, we should probably start wrapping this up, but um, you, I, I got the impression from something you said earlier and mm. also the amount of, like, stuff you had compiled for your Instagram Live that you might be working on something. Yeah. Yeah. Are we, is, is this something you want to talk about or is this a little... Maybe we come back to talk about this. Uh, I don't know. Let me think. Cause I need to, I mean, you can just, you can leave it at that if you want, but it's just exciting to know that something, all I can say is yes, I'm preparing something. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm preparing something. Cool. So uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Yeah. No, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah. That's always nice to know. Yes. Um, exciting. Amazing. I don't, I don't really like, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, we shouldn't ask this because I can't talk for <laughs> That's something I, I work. Have, I don't no, know how long we've been speaking. It's some but. stuff I, I have to work on. You like we all have uh, strength and weakness. My weakness is I can I accumulate so much knowledge. Also, I've been so many so many times secretive. So I develop also to the side of it like a, an, an insane amount of I can like you build it up and then you know like if I start to talk and I'm passionate, I go and I can speak for hours. If I don't stop, I don't know how to stop. I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I work on so okay. You need to give nuggets of knowledge or just give something because otherwise, if you talk about, I can talk about so many stuff. Art, like we didn't talk about Bruce Lee. We didn't talk about. Training. I know this. We could we could speak for. You, you I mean, we have you back on though. Every po every yeah. doors is like we talk about. Um, generation what's the for the new generation what do you think about how the way it talks now with all the flips and so i was like, so i like i mean to be honest this podcast is scary to go into because i know there's going to be things that we haven't covered that people are going to be like oh why didn't you ask about this and it's yeah. like fuck like, well there, there you go then people can write down what they want yeah. and then when your yeah, yeah. project that you're working on yeah, yeah. my project is as, as i say it's out. like touch wood because it's, it's something dear to me but it's also a link with telling my thing mm -hmm. not oh, like it's always linked with the others because they're part of my culture that's why i say it's they're all part of my culture but people need to understand this is okay they never train together it's not, okay, it's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not enemy it doesn't care about that it doesn't care about that this guy care about this and and it's obvious even i don't even say it you just see me and say i don't force it this is me i'm i'm playfulness i want to play until i die we don't live long we have mm -hmm. brian did you know brian Mm, yeah. Brian Pastor, it was my first coach. Yeah. That hurts me a lot. Like literally for me, it's just like, uh, I'm not naive, but you know what I mean? You're living in a bubble. Mm -hmm. We're together. And then when someone like close, and I was, especially in the parkour world, when I arrived in Newcastle, I'm not talking to anyone. You know, I'm talking to people, but I'm not getting into like friendship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I get to too many stories. So, but Brian start to open me to like to get more close to people so hey, then this this happened yeah so for me it's like i was like oh that's why every time i say okay you need to live fully now right now don't wait don't wait i like, just just do what you want to do mm -hmm. and that's 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 how i live my life now see you say said come i'm coming boom I'm yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> no, no fluff nothing you say oh you should we talk about yeah let's talk let's say even like something let's say the only way i'm not going political and also naming names is because we're not perfect. Uh, is that very constructive? Not much. Uh, just talk about people you like. Yeah. You know, I talk about people I like. So if we, I like what you're doing. I'm watching what you're doing. It's yeah. so easy to be negative. Like, I think we're all guilty of, it's so easy to, to sort of find imperfection and be negative. It's yeah. so easy. And yeah. for some reason it's, I don't know if it's just the fucking human programming, but mm -hmm. it's harder to sit around and just speak good about people. Yeah. It's so much. We, yeah. If you look at the average conversation, typically it's probably negative. Yeah, it's super weird, yeah. and like I'm a hundred percent guilty of it. Yeah, and, and so you know, and you know when someone hurts you. 
Yeah. You know, and you want to strike back. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, and I, that's why I say to Julian Gilles, I say, yeah, it took me years just to swallow the pills of everything and just to, and I need to put like a puzzle. I need to put the stuff together. Yeah. And then for me, I also, I'm glad I'm doing meditation because it's clear. Mm-hmm. When I, and I sometimes I try to help people. I say, oh, no, he doesn't want help. So I can't help him. Mm. But for me, it's super clear. I, I just go like this. Like I say, I was, uh, I didn't know. I was not the first. I was behind. Then I learned to be, then I understood what is it to be in forefront. I was performer. Then I suffer. Then I had all the stuff you can imagine. I literally touched the floor, go back to that. And then I said, okay, this is what I driven for. Nothing else matter. I go for that and nothing else. And I will take until it disappears. That's why I say, watch this tag. If it disappears, I'll be like, hey, oh my God, I enjoy it so much. Yeah, you enjoy the bits when they, yeah. Yeah, I just like, <laughs> you see me, it's like, <laughs> more, more, more. And then I said, like, okay, done, done, done. Yeah. Done. I've got plenty of energy. Like, even like we can talk about like uh, the body. So, how is your body? Like, people, nobody talk about us. It's annoying. Like, sport people, they don't talk about how they are. Like, they had like surgery. They don't, for me, it's like, People need to know. For history speaking, yeah. people need to know. I mean, actually, yeah, it is. A, so the, the the typical thing is always like, oh, you're, that's going to hurt when you're 50. Your knees are going to hurt when you're 50. Yeah. You're 48. Like, how are you doing? Am I? <laughs> you said in the video, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you no, said 47 and then you... 47, yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to be really accurate, guys. Right <laughs> from the beginning, 47. <laughs> and I just make the count. And like Amy, like my girlfriend said, eh, but you are 47. I say, because you're in St. May. I say, no, but if you do the counting, it's 48. So, <laughs> so anyway, so uh, yeah, how is my body? I feel uh, when I wake up, it's different before. Before I wake up, I feel nothing. You yeah. know, this is different. If I, sometimes I wake up, it's like, oh, you know, come, something like that. But because I'm always in motion, you know, like Bruce would say, you know, yeah. running water never grows stale. That's what he mm. said. This is so true. So for me, that's why I say, my advice, never, ever stop. This yeah. is the only thing. And it is become more accurate with time. Mm-hmm. Because, oh, I don't stop a little bit, you see. Even last time, you know, I, I follow the season. I don't know if you ever heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this written down, seasonal training. <laughs> last one I did, I hibernation. I like to say I do my hibernation. I hibernate too much. <laughs> I will never hibernate like I did last time. Really? Because I felt it. Yeah. I felt like, oh my God, you're losing. You're literally losing wow. it. And I said, oh, okay, I'm back. And now I'm back. I'm so when you say hibernate, what does that mean? Doing nothing. Doing nothing. Literally. But still like painting, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But just not Anything. physical. Anything. could play guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But just not, not movement. Just, not like Netflix and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can not even Netflix. Anything. Yeah. Anything. I said, no, come on. Yes, I do. <laughs> the pizza. Whoa, whoa anything give it a break like reverse take a lot of even a little bit last i remember because i had like no abs at all oh <laughs> I should, wow i should have recorded that i was like <laughs> look at this <laughs> it's god i got no abs because i did nothing yeah i said i'm doing nothing I'm walking like a normal people. but i'm happy happy and then after when uh, spring arrive it's another story now it's a but also but i would never do that ever again you hear, you need to keep a light activity. Motion is the lotion. Oh yeah, that's true. I like I love, that. that sounds good. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My, I don't know, my mum always says that to me about like injuries. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Cause it, you like twist an ankle and things. It's so easy to go up. I'm doing nothing, but it's like, <laughs> oh, it makes it worse. And then for weeks you're like, oh, my ankle is concrete. But if yeah. you just stay light, yeah, light yeah, movement. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. This is it, yeah. yeah. That's why I say like move to health. For me it's health. And, and a lot of questions that sometimes I would love to have a round table, you know, like something, you should do that, round table, yeah, everybody's yeah, yeah, interacting. Yeah. Because there is people also, like we talk about development. Uh, I remember Chase Hermitage or so. Yeah. Because people don't talk a lot, but from what I've seen, Chase brings something. I think his, his video was called Revolution or something, Evolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know yeah, that? Yeah. I'm sure people say I have no clue, but he was the first ones doing like kind of that video was and then the two brothers yeah with a uh, cult it, it, insane it. Yeah. And like i say for me i'm like a data i keep everything so it's do, 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 everything i remember is yeah. statistic daniel ilabaka yeah like oh, for me this guy let's like, just bring uh, for, uh, after anyone can debate to say oh yeah but in my country we did it anyway 
I can see. <laughs> there is a, there is a someone came and just completely switch. I don't know. If yeah. you, do you recall for is that for you? Is that the for Danny? Yeah, Danny. Yeah. 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 It literally like. Yeah. Yeah. That's, he's he's unbelievable. That's like it. just it's so that's and at a so progressive at such an early stage yeah. as well. Even him, he doesn't understand. Like it probably didn't know, but for me, like I I'm. I met him. It was a, I think, something an event somewhere. I know when it was. Court, I was court. there. I was there. Oh, Scott! Yeah, see? yeah. I see, I it was the first him. time I met Danny yeah. as well. Yeah. I was. We went to because there was an Urban Free Flow setup. There you go. Yeah. You see, and, and I was doing the. Yeah. And I was there to see Urban Free Flow. History. That's so <laughs> it, was the, it was the Urban Music Festival, and uh, yeah, Urban yeah. Free Flow, and I, I, I met you again, and I remember seeing Danny, and I was like, it's that guy, because at the time there were like two videos of him just doing like crazy stuff and speaking to him and he was like oh i didn't even know this was here i was just here to see will smith because will smith was performing like that's, that's just crazy yeah. and that clicks because my brain i pick up stuff super quick i don't know how it works but i pick up and i spoke with danny and i can see he's got a nice soul you know and uh, also he's religious so he helps a lot and uh and uh, i knew he had something special i could see same when i saw chase yeah like it was a PK7 or something like that. It's called it seven for seven. And then, but I can pick up, you know, like the thing is I'm not in a pedestal because I know where I come from. For, so it's easy for me to not be. So if someone does something, I was like, and I watch, and I watch Chase and I saw what he's doing. So this guy is bringing something different. Yeah. Artistically speaking, something's happening. And then Danny, like, like for me, shattered everything I knew from, from everything I knew. Yeah. Because for me, it was David. Yeah. Danny, you can't forget. Like I say, for me, it's like, the way he moved, the the way, probably not the subject here, but it's another subject I say. Mm. So for me, if people talk to me about history, people say, yeah, but we did this over there. You can do whatever you want. As far as I'm concerned in my history, this is people who just literally. Yeah, <laughs> change the path. Like, <laughs> And it's like, Danny, damn it. And then after you duplicate, You've got one Danny, and then I've got two, two, three, four, five, and everyone becomes super good. But there is a moment, and people can record. You just type, look at the video, look at the timeline. You will see. Yeah. And they, it's funny enough because Danny traveled a lot after. Yeah. He traveled, and I think he spread it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You see, after anyone can say, but we can share. What yeah. do you think? No, a hundred percent. Like it is, it's, it's, and I think it now, now that parkour has got bigger and there's more people involved, yeah. it's yeah. harder to find those like. Yeah, after. as you said, there's not just one pivotal person. Like back then, it felt like like Parkour had already spread to other countries back then, but it was kind of it almost felt like everyone was rising at the same level. Obviously, yeah. little spikes, but then Danny just emerged and was like the this this figure. Um, I went to his house. Mm. You see, because this is how crazy I am. Like for me, it's like, whoa, whoa. So I went to his house. I met his mum. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Where they were. Did he have his setup in the garden? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, hmm. and I'm, see, the, this is our for me. So, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I watch. I literally look at him. It's like, okay, oh, okay, that's it. That's what you're doing. Okay. And then I ask, I say, what are we doing? I'm doing this. Oh yeah, okay, good. For ski, also same. Yeah. There's a few people. I was like, come, same with you guys. I need to <laughs> ask you a few questions. Make it some notes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because this is, it's part of history. It's part of my the cause of my ignorance. I need to understand like how how young you are, how quickly you achieve stuff like for us, how the plasticity of the brain. I need I need it. It's part of the puzzle. Yeah. If I stay saying yeah, I'm the founder, I think, yeah. <laughs> just like <sighs> I need it. I yeah. need it. I observe mm -hmm. everything. Like fat uh, uh fat, team fat. Yeah. Yeah. I observe, I watch, I, they see me just around. I hey, said they don't know how my brain is getting different. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, 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 okay. That Sherlock Holmes brain, like. Yeah. But it's, it's for the good, it's for the good of when I teach some, someone. Yeah. Like, I need it to, okay, is there, is there is a faster way. So when you talk about repetition, mm. I said, you don't need to do that much of repetition. Because mm -hmm. there is a quicker way. Yeah. Like, you still have to repeat, you still have to do the exercise, but for uh, several, uh, several stuff. That's how it works, anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Voila. All right, I think we should wrap it up. Otherwise, it's four hours later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, thank you so much. My pleasure, guys. As I, been so good. As I said, I'm sure we haven't. There's a lot of stuff we probably haven't covered, and and yeah. people might be angry or whatever. But you know, mm. um, I'm yeah. still here. As I say, sometimes like 
we never know how life is. Uh, as I say, um, people got the chance to have the people who was somewhere at the beginning still here alive now. Yeah. And for so long, sometimes I say, doesn't matter, I still do my journey. But in UK, I was thinking, I'm here, no one asks anything. It's none of my business because mm -hmm. I do my journey. But sometimes I was thinking like, but if Bruce Lee was here, like David, when he talked to me about his dad, that's why I say sometimes it's different culture because I'm not the same. Mm. Or maybe I'm probably different. But for me, I will completely run into the person. This is me. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, Whatever I think maybe is, like a lot of people maybe just don't feel... I don't know. I don't know. What? I mean, a bit like that. Like to like to sort of hunt out Seb and approach yeah. him and things yeah. like. But well, I they heard it here now. Yeah. You can. <laughs> but I get, as I say, I always try to make myself approachable. Like yeah. Storo, they knew it. I, I sometimes I speak with Callum on Instagram with even joking. It's not like advertised, but I do because it's just, I'm, I'm no, I'm no, I'm everybody and nobody. Like yeah. you can talk mm -hmm. to me. Seb, if it's to talk about, yeah, how was the Daniel Craig or whatever. So, you lost me, man. Like yeah, 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 talk yeah. about real stuff, like life, like friends. If it's to talk about stuff like uh, fame, stuff, uh, tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For but sure. I'm approachable. I'm, I'm. I like to be distant because everything is like I say, it's political. No, but everything like you see. But this, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Here. yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Well. Yeah. And you've got an, an exciting project that we we will yeah, yeah. hear more of. Finger stage. crossed, send energy. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's do it. I want it. I Any want timelines it. on that? Like, are we mm -hmm. talking this year or? The soonest is the best. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I've uh, got a meeting on Monday about that. So normally I had a meeting. I had to travel on uh, don't worry, Thursday about this. It's been postponed because there is a meeting, an important meeting on Monday. So again, we'll see. Exciting. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. My pleasure. As I say, like so many people for me, it's important. I want to, I will do, I will do, but I want to, it's like my Christie. It's, I know I will always, I'll never forget the people who are pivotal directly or indirectly. That's yeah. why I mentioned uh, Danny because uh, it's important. Uh, there is people just like, they shouldn't be in, they should disappear in history. Mm -hmm. There is no way that is. I, I mean, my Christie is the godfather. Like he's the. I told him. I said, "Man, you like literally, you changed my life." It's, yeah. it's a very important. Yeah, yeah. He's like, like the uncle of parkour. Like, yeah, it's amazing. If he never comes to me with the documentary, I'd be at least doing whatever I'm doing. But mm. it's not like it's pivotal. It's like, man, boom. Yeah. Boom. It's massive. It's, it's massive. so massive. Anyway, voila. <laughs> Woo. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. You know, all the standard stuff, subscribe, like, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, but mm -hmm. whatever. And yeah, follow Seb's, uh, uh, check out his Instagram page for, um, it's in the highlights. And then his art Instagram, it's linked in your bio, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. La plume. Yeah, yeah. Feather. Plume. Plume. All right, love you lots. Love it. Bye. Yee. Bye bye. Oh, how long did we stop? Yeah, how long was that?